Chess was back. Back again. Hey, Chess yes, is back. <laughs> back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Banana. Banana. That's just so we shall start this show. Yeah, Kojo is back, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fam. Una, una, wait, things say I never will come back. I'm back. Uh, I'm back, back in yeah. this bitch. Yeah, boy, be honest, though. You were like, yo, I didn't want to come back. Yeah, I didn't want to come back, man. I didn't want to come to all this bullshit. All this. This racist bullshit. <laughs> hey! This racist bullshit. Hey! I dig out of there, bro. You, you go on Instagram and then you're seeing. You see what's going on in London? What's going on? Uh, far right. This is this, this, racist. This. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm like, bro. brother, make I make the ship everything come going on. <laughs> like, like, <I'm> a- <laughs> they must all do that, fam. They must well I am ship. sitting comfortable I'm, here. I'm bro. comfortable. I'm getting people smiling at me, left, right, center, forward, everywhere. It's going to be like you're waking up in the morning, food is ready for Food is ready. ready. Guy, how you know? I know now. I know Africa now. Bro, I'll, I'll be sleeping. 9 a.m. Boom, 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 boom. I open the door then, like, two trays of breakfast. I'm like, yo. Hold on. What's our breakfast, though? Like English breakfast. Mm. But that's not what I wanted, though. Mm. <laughs> what, what do you want? What do you want? What do you Brother, want? Brother, I want some Hausa Coco mm. with some, some buff fruit and then what you man call them? Um, what do you guys call it again? What's that? Ah, oh, Akara. Oh, puff puff. Is, is, is it puff puff, puff, puff? and Akara? Mm. You get me? I want me some red red, some some plantain and beans and shit like that. Mm. I want the proper food. <laughs> Guy, did they bring me some English, English breakfast, breakfast like pancakes and then and then omelets and then you're like, and then, bro, I'm in Ghana, fam. Bro, they bro, after the third day, I was like, it's, it's calm. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It's calm. I get it. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm from here, though. I'm from here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been eating this thing every day for like how many years now? It's yeah, yeah. calm. Yeah, yeah. I don't want this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but, uh, fam. fam. I was seeing the photos and that, fam. I was thinking, yo, my guy is leaving, leaving, bro. Uh, you know how it be. You know what it's like about community. Like, you just feel... You feel like you're home. You feel like you're where you're... Not like I, I don't feel like accepted here, but when you're back home, you feel extra accepted. Mm. Like you feel like you're amongst your people. Them. Yeah, every, everyone is like you. Everyone is, everyone is, everyone like is speaking you. like you. Yeah, you know everyone, yeah. yeah, you can vibe with people. Like, And clearly people can see you're not from here. So you get that extra level of attention. Right. You get me? Right, like, right, right. Yeah. And I, I did with half cool picking as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did with half cool picking. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you yeah, would yeah. drive past and then people they wave. People they wave about everything. And then like people are smiling at you. Like it's a good feeling. Bro. How was he though? How was he? Was he, he was he comfortable? You know my boy, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know he's a bit if he doesn't know you, he's a bit reserved. Yeah, until he gets to until know Until he gets to know you. Yeah, yeah. So for the first, I'll say for the first day or two, he was a bit reserved. Like, like he wants to follow me around. Not every time. If he's not in his comfort zone, if he ain't got his internet or mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. his iPad or something, he wants to follow me around. Like, wait, so where are we going today? Like, there was no thought of make a leave him for yard and then go do my thing mm. for the first couple of days. Mm. But once he got comfortable, once... He started playing around with his cousins and then he got familiar with, with, with my family them and all of that. He was fine, bro. He, yeah, he done cold, a sleepover bro. at my brother's house. He didn't want to leave. Are you serious? Yeah. Apparently they stayed up to like 2 2 a.m. in the morning. We're playing video game or what? Playing FIFA and doing shit. Like playing yeah, Monopoly yeah, 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 and FIFA yeah, 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 and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's calm. I though. came back the next day around like 12 noon. He didn't want to leave. Like he wasn't eager to leave. Damn, I would have left him there, but yeah, 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 I know. But still, but like, still, you don't want to stretch out. Yeah, I know stretch out, man. Besides, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want him to be someone else's responsibility. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, but, fam, that's but, bro. Gone, Ghana bro. was nice, like Ghana. I, I enjoyed it. The weather was was I. It was not extremely hot. Not like what I I'm used to when I go back. It was cool. Mm. You know, bro. Like you, when you're comfortable in Ghana, when you get small change for your pocket, you're yeah, good. It's nice. It's, it's nice. nice, man. You're good. Like you're not thinking about about coming back, but Brad, time flies, man. Oh, listen. Once you're having a good time, damn, you realize that 24 hours is nothing. It's nothing. Is it? Go, you wake Two up, week you just eat. goes by, bro. You go out, boom, it's gone. Next day, boom, it's gone. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, fam, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know the compound that you was in and everything, bro. 
I saw that. I was like, what the fuck, bro? I'm talking about, you know, um, what's it called? Um, um, some some bro. sort of like bro, there's a there's a pool, there's, there's a, a pool, little jacuzzi a type thing. Bro, I was seeing that. Shit. I was thinking, you know, yo, what's going on, nah, bro? Nah, even the bedroom I stayed in, bro, like it's got automatic curtains. It's got like a jacuzzi in the in a in a bedroom. That's crazy. It's got bro. a toilet where it's got heated seats. Not like you need yeah, heated yeah, yeah, seats. Course, Ghana, oh, I know, I know. The, bro, the whole place is hot. Nah, it was bro. People think say now me go build a house for Ghana. You know, is it? Man, still you might as well claim it in Jesus' <laughs> nah, name. Nah, nah, I'm claiming it exactly. Soon come. Soon come. <laughs> Soon come. <laughs> Nah, 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 that was my bro's crib, man. Like he made me feel very welcome. Yeah, give, bro, that's calm still. Give me my own room. My little boy had his own room. Give me car. You know, do my thing. Like, bro, I feel, I feel, I feel at home. That's amazing, though. That's, that's why amazing. I belong. That's why I belong. See, but do they look at you as one of them? Because I mean, you've been here for quite some time now. So, yeah. so do they look at you like one of them, or do they look at you like burger? They look at me. See, when I go to Ghana. I speak, I speak like a local person. Okay, okay. When I'm talking, I don't try and then slang a little bit. My Ghana accent comes out. Okay. It's like when I start speaking to people in that accent, like people with that accent, it it naturally comes out. It comes out. And I'm speaking my tree and all of that. Of course, they know I'm not from there. So they try to, I don't know. It's like, not like to be, you know, bro, I don't think they did anything special for me. I feel like it was just... The like, fact that they, they missed me, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like the fact that, you know, when your mom hasn't seen you in a while, she wants to cook for you. She wants you to come around. She wants to spend a bit of time with you. But yeah, yeah. I'm sure if I stay there for more than a month, they'll be like, They'll hey. be like, all right, cool, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When are you going back? Yeah. <laughs> when are you going back, bro? You've overstayed your welcome, fam. You know me? <laughs> nah, but yeah, I think they, they, they see me as one of them. That's what's up, Yeah, though. yeah, they see me as... I'm always going to be one of them. That's what's up, though. Yeah, That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I can't uh, wait to go back already, man. Is it already? I can't wait to go back already, bro. See, if you got proper pee, are you going to stay there? Guy. If you got proper pee, yeah, let's say you are comfortable, everything, you have your own little, um, well, businesses or whatever. Hell income yeah. Income coming in and everything. Hell yeah. Would you live in Ghana? Hell yeah. Bro, if I could end... What you're earning here? What right I'm now. earning here right now in Ghana. Yeah. I'll I'll move in. I'll move to Ghana. I'll stay in Ghana for a couple of years, a couple of months. Sign. Just 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 come down here and in just the, come in visit. Summertime. That's it. I keep I keep saying. I was saying to my brother even if I could find a work from home job that pays decent, that would allow me to work from a different country because you know it's not all of them that will allow you work from a different yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna move to Ghana, not forever, for maybe like a year. Just go out there. You and, know, and just be there just be there you go, I mean just just get paid in pounds and yeah just, just get paid in pounds because guy if you change that pound sterling you're good to go bro, bro. that's a guy that's a guy in my company yeah that's a guy in my company and everything yeah his job allows him to work from anywhere mm. right and guess where this guy leaves Wait. mexico shit mexico I was gonna say Dubai, but no, shit. Mexico. I mean, if he's in Dubai, he's gonna be spending a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You facts, got I me. Mean? But facts, bro, facts, he's facts. spending almost nothing in Mexico, bro. My guy is living like a king, bro. He's single, doing his own thing over there. He he comes here maybe um twice or three times a year. Okay. You know, because obviously he has to come and everything and and maybe meet clients and all that mm. kind of stuff. But for the most part, bro, my guy is Mexico, in Mexico bro, chilling. Chain chilling, bro. Uh, this country, they make, I, I said, I said, bro, there's nothing here, bro. There's there is tax, they kill here. you. Racist people, they worry Guy. you. you know rent, they kill you. Rent, rent, money, whatever. If parking tickets, yeah, something oh, must oh. catch you, <laughs> bro. Something will, as much as you try to evade, 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 something will catch you. Some fine, some stupid shit will catch you. Fam, it's coming out now that the Blackwater Tunnel from 2025. Don't, people will start paying. Don't toll. tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> Black Wall, bro. You get me? Well, like the Dartford like the crossing Dartford one. Yeah. all of that. Black Wall, bro. Do you know how many lives the Black Wall Tunnel have saved? Bro, but why why are they, why are they finding every small Everything, opportunity bro. to collect something? But like, that's the thing. Like, all the shit is going up, yeah? Your wages is not even going up. Your it's monthly not, salary is not it's going not. up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you lot have kicked this UL Easy payment thing that... Out of nowhere, like you're taking what is it eleven pound fifty a day from people that drive cars? That bro, come on, how many other things you want to hit people with? Fam, even electric cars. 
Look at me, obviously, I had to go get an electric car. You know what I mean? I said, okay, cool. At least if I'm driving into Central, I'm not paying congestion charge and everything. They are coming up. Well, with they are the, coming up with congestion yeah, charge for electric cars. For electric cars, which, which doesn't even make sense because electric cars do not use petrol so or diesel. What is the point? What is, so is what the money is the point? Yeah. It's just the money making shit. And I wonder why people are going nuts the way, like, cool, you have people online that are stocking it up or whatever, but for the majority of the time, People are just tired of the they bullshit. They're tired. They're tired every day. Something else. Something else. Something else. People are just tired of the bullshit, bro. Come on, people milk. Just tired milk. Of the milk. Price of milk has doubled in the last three, four years. Nah, it's mad, bro. It's mad, bro. Fam, it's good to have you back still. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's yeah, good yeah. to have you back, bro. Always good to be back. You go, know I'm saying. You came back and Kelly's not here today. I know, really. You go, know I mean. <laughs> Kelly has his own paroles and everything, I bro. Know, you go, know, know, I mean. I know. There's but no salute sign. to him, though. Salute to him for wherever he is, man. And also. Salute to the freshers, though. Mm-hmm. You get me? Mm-hmm. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you decided to be here with us. And for that, we salute you lot. Listen, you already know what time it is. This is Fresh of the Boat Podcast. Is your boy, Toby, and your boy, Cole. Salute to Kells, wherever he is, man. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you decided to be here with us. And for that, salute. Listen, if you've not subscribed to the channel... We don't know what you're waiting for, man. You know what I'm saying? We are giving you guys all this great content and everything. Hmm. And you guys are just coming in to watch it and not subscribing. Come on, man. Subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Keep on watching the videos. Keep on leaving your likes right there. Mm-hmm. Press it. Press mm-hmm. it right now. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Leave your comments. We want to salute every single one of you well, that comment on our videos and everything. We salute you a lot, man. You know what I mean? Share it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an... Enemy to tell a friend, people. Because they got friends yep. too. You go, know I'm saying. And also, salute to everyone on Spotify. You know, salute to everybody. You know, on Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts. You know, Apple Podcasts. Wherever you are, man, listening to this, we salute you, Lord, man. You go, know I'm saying. And also, if you like what we're giving you guys, man, leave a super chat right there. Man. Yep. You yep, go, what yep, I mean, yep. support the machine, man. You go, what I'm saying, leave a super chat. You know, we are also going to put, a, put a, um, a PayPal there as well, PayPal link. You know, just stop on that as well. You know, give us a little something, something, bro. You go, what I'm saying? Change, some yeah, little man, change we deserve it, though. We deserve it, we bro. We deserve Don't it, man. Bro. You go, what I'm saying? But apart from that, man, listen, salute to you, Lord, man. Bro, should we start this, yeah? Yes, brother. Let's roll. Yeah? Let's roll. Let's roll. Should we start this, yeah? All do right, you think let's if do. there were no Nigerians in Kenya, you would you'd even know how to wash your hands with champagne? <laughs> eh? Do you do you think do you, do, do you think Hennessy would be able to sell in Kenya? Yeah. What Let would them know. Because no Kenyan is drinking Hennessy. So, That's a Nigerian drink. Yeah. So right? it's, do you think it's, co- it's ag- agreeing to what I've do said? Do you think there would be any big bam bam showers in the club? Because, you know, there's no big bam bam babe who's coming to the club to a Kenyan guy who's going to tell us. You've seen, that photo. You've seen that photo of babes in a club who are just seated. Waiting for the Nigerians. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when all Nigerians is. get deported, that's what happens. This is around the world. I even saw this challenge where, you know this one for busting balloons? Mm. This babe walks into the room and all the guys bust the balloons. And anyway, she goes back and forth as to why she's rejecting them. Mm-hmm. And she sees this guy and she's asked, okay, the guy has already rejected her. Yeah. But she's like, you know what? Um, I mean, you're my type. And then the, the host says, okay, why is he your type? You're Nigerian, right? <laughs> that was the only qualification. Yeah. This is a global phenomenon. Nigeria has conquered the world, though. Like, that's what, if you're again, you're about to argue with me, baby, argue with yourself on the side. That's so let's- a fact. That's a fact. God, God she did. <laughs> Nigeria, my, my Nigerian brothers. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. This is the reason why you guys are getting in trouble uh, in South Africa, fam. You know uh, what I'm saying? This is the reason why you are getting so in trouble in South Africa, bro. You get me? But let's do this, bro. Charlie, Charlie, uh, Charlie. Uh, Charlie. Uh, uh, Drake is bad. Fam, Drake is sick. Dr- Drake bro. is Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Drake is sick, bro. Yeah. No, but no wonder they call him the culture vulture, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no fucking wonder. Oh, you got me, yeah. Bro. Yeah, that song is made up of so many different fucking bro, twinks and twanks and everything, everything from the inside. Charlie, that's the kind of song you hear in Greece or something. I'm Santorini telling you. or something, bro. I'm hip-hop, R&B. 
Fucking dance or fucking Jamaica. Bro, so everything someday inside. Bro, my man say they make song for men. Me, man. me myself, I make song for the girl, them. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you get me? They make song for, for, for the guys to come out and creep work, yeah, bro. You get what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> for the guys to come out and creep work, fam. You get me? Nah, that's not what we do here, fam. Because we know once the girls are here, yeah, the guys are the coming guys out. Are come, of course. You get what I'm of saying? Course. And that's the reason why, right, it's so hard to defeat this guy. It's hard, bro. Because if Kendrick, if this was somebody else, yeah? And I understand, obviously, you know, we saw the whole beef and everything and, and what Kendrick did and everything. Everyone understands that's a victory. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm, somebody mm -hmm. in the group chat yesterday asked, yeah, bro, okay, Kendrick won the fight. He won the battle. Yeah, but who do you think is going to win the war? You got know I me? Mean? Because since that battle, yeah, Drake has been dropping... You know, but that futures are something here and here. You get what I'm saying? And then this 100 GB that he dropped, you know, first of all, he's so smart. See, Drake, he's a snake. So he dropped it as a Lucy, right? So it, 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 it wasn't on his platform. Platform, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. the Apple <laughs> thing or whatever, right? So he dropped it on, I think it's called Finsta or something. Oh, okay. You go, I mean, some version of Insta, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So he dropped it as free music. Make everybody just listen. Just to get the feel. See, okay, are people still gonna... Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Now, uh -huh. everyone went to it and obviously jamming it. You know what I'm saying? Once people started jamming it, Universal... I mean, Universal gave Drake 400 mil. You get what I'm saying? So they need to make money some way, mm -hmm. somehow. You get what I'm saying? Universal now saw that the song is going. Guess what they did? They took it down. Oh, shit. Yeah? They took it down. But then guess what now happened? I think this morning, it came out that the song, that the 30 BG, um, uh, what's it called? File or whatever is now on Apple Music. Oh, so it's on Apple Music now? That means you I can swear, stream. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That means that they want to make money from Cause it. Because I checked for it the other day. It was not... No, nah, it wasn't it there. It was not on Apple Music. No, no, no. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. It was just on his Finster page. So, so now, so now yeah. they, they're monetizing it. Of course. Of course they will have to. Of course. You get what I mean? And we are still in summer. Drake is telling you, listen, no, we will come back to the rap. The guy get head. The guy get head. Oh, you know what he's what I mean? Like, like you said, he knows he lost the, the war. Yeah. I mean, the battle. Yeah. But when it's all said and done... Because the thing is, right, Drake's core fans are not hip hop artists. They are not uh, hip hop they, artists. They are not hip hop fans. Like they are not hardcore hip hop fans. No, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah, give yeah. a fuck about that. Yeah, they just want to have a good time. He, he's got pop, he's got pop fans. He's got R and B That's fans. It. He's got hip hop fans. He's, his fans are everywhere. Everywhere. So him dropping this right now, bro. If you travel Greece right now. That's a song that they're probably going to be playing over and there. And the song is good. What are you talking about? The song is good. It's going to bring people to your place. It's, Fuck, it's, it's a jam, bro. It's a jam. It's a jam. It's a fucking jam. You get what I'm saying? And people wonder why the guy is still winning and everything, bro. This is it. This is it. Because a lot of artists are sort of one-dimensional, mm -hmm. which is cool. You get what I mean? If you're into hip-hop, if you are a rap purist and everything, which is great. You get what I'm saying? Salute to everybody and everything. But Drake has mastered, bro. If you beat him here... He will go to this side. He will go to that side. Fuck, he will fuck, go to that fuck. side and everything. And he's feeding everybody and all that kind of yeah. shit. So that even if you beam on this one, everybody here will say, nah, babe. Nah. You have no one. He's, he's still the guy. He's still our he just, guy. He just took his time. May I just take a couple of weeks off, you know, That's blow, it. blow some steam. Because the world is going crazy on me right now. Yeah, bro. And everyone yeah. was going nuts. <laughs> yeah, me. everyone was going nuts. Like, this is something that people would not be quick to forget. Nah. You get what I mean? Like that beef, yeah. nobody could forget them. But when it's all said and done, but still, he's still the G O A T. Yeah, he's he's still that guy. He's, he's still, still that guy. guy. You can't he's take that, that away from him. He's still that guy. He I mean, who else go feel rough shoulders with Tom at this point? Fam, he has overtook. He he just um overtook um Kendrick on the streaming. On the thing. streaming, you got know I me mean? because Kendrick overtook him and everything on the monthly listeners thing. You know, I saw an article coming out saying that. He has, he's the number one now again. And everyone will be checking for, okay, so what next after that? That's it. After that beef. That's it. Everyone has been checking. Yep. He's been dropping, you know, some futures and yeah, everything. Features, but, yeah, 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 but it's not really been sticking. I think this is the first one that has really stuck. And mm, it's so mm, funny mm. that the one that stuck is not, and it's not, it's, it's a song that has nothing to do with rap. You know what I'm saying? And that's a Drake 
to be honest with you, that's the Drake that a lot of people like. The, the singing Drake, you know, you go, know I'm saying the dance hall, whatever, the R&B, you go, know I'm saying that's the Drake that most of the ladies love. Guys, yes, you know, we like the rapping thing and whatever. But at the end of the day, that's the reason why he has all the girls in his corner. <laughs> that's just what it is, you know. But just before we get off this, right, have you seen that the person that Drake is signed to, Lucian Grange, mm -hmm. right, obviously the CEO of Universal. Universal, yeah. His son now has become the CEO of Atlantic. Okay. Yeah, it just came out. And... um. Lucian Grange and his son, they own 40% of music catalog in America. 40%? 40%. Of the whole music catalog yes. in the United States in of America? In the United States, bro. And do the sign too. <laughs> and the guy, that is the only person he answers to, Lucian Grange. Bro, it's crazy. That is mental, you know. It's crazy, bro. I saw that in the article and I was like, yo, no wonder. Yeah. Yo, so, so, yeah, so this year, Lucian Grange, CEO of Universal Group, and his son, Elliot, recently appointed CEO of Atlantic um, Music Group, will collectively control about 37.6% of the U.S. recorded music market. Hmm. Talk about generational... Bro, Fingy. fam. 37 guy. And US is... <laughs> fam, and this is an English man, you know? Oh, he's English? Yeah, it's English, yeah. He's from London. They're from London. They're from London. That's mad. Yeah, when well, you really deep in anything music, bro. That is the reason why if you hear some of Drake's song or whatever, he said, bro, <laughs> Lucian Grange is my guy. Mm. That I, all he yeah. needs to do is to tell him, yo, this is how much I need, bro. Boom. Uh, yeah, I think he's me he's mentioned him in some in some of his songs. Yeah, of course. A couple, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know this, and this, obviously this is part of the reason why people like Kanye West. You know because Kanye West used to be the golden child. You go, know I mean, Kanye West used to be the golden child before Drake. So you know, it's it it it, it runs deep. It runs deep, but here we are. But to control. About forty percent, almost forty percent of, of the music catalog in America, in America is America. crazy. Right. Where, where else? One person, people, everyone wants their music to make it to America, make it America. One like. person and his son. So, so that means they own your catalog. Mm -hmm. They own everything. Mm -hmm. You go. Know what I mean, that shit is crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. You go. Know what I mean, that shit is crazy. But listen, at mm -hmm. the end of the day, man, we we'll see what happens, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a Kendrick guy. <laughs> but I will admit, I would definitely admit that Drake is still that guy. You know what I mean? Always going to be that guy. Drake He's always going to be guy, that bro. guy. Drake is still that guy. Bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But fam, you saw the um clip, obviously, that we played before the intro song and everything. Yeah, you know, man. It's all jokes and everything. What the lady was saying about Nigerians and all no, that kind but... of shit, right? But in my opinion, it's things like that. Yeah? That kind of stoke some of the things that we are seeing happening or some of the the notions that people have about Nigerians, about Nigerians. you know, and then which now leads to this whole Miss South Africa debacle that has been going on in South Africa, you know, between, when I say between um, Chidema, Adeshina, and South Africans. You get what I'm saying? Like, it is crazy because when people say that, you know, yes, it's fun <coughs> it's fun and games, we joke about it, we laugh at it and everything, yeah? But it's something where I don't like when women, personally, I don't like when women say, and I, I like Nigerian men because they know how to spend. I personally don't like it. Some people take it as a, as a, what's it called? A as a, a praise, compliment. a compliment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But me, at the back of my mind, I'm, I'm thinking, bro, are you calling me a trick? But you know what I mean? Are you calling me a trick? But, like, but, but you guys brought it up on yourselves, though. How? You like to spend. No, we you are like, just gentlemen. Guy, get it if I don't hear, man. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying every, collectively, every Nigerian. Okay. But some Nigerians, right? Some Nigerian men like to spend to show off. Is it really showing off? Or, because we had this conversation. I don't know if you were around, right? 
We all grew up in Nigeria. <coughs> Nobody sat us down to say, hey, spend money like this. So the thing is, we just like to have a good time, right? And anyone that's around us, men or women, mm. right, will have a good time with us. Mm. That's just what it is. Now nah, it became... It, 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 no, 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 become, I'm telling the truth. I feel like it's gone past that level. No, the, the reason okay. I'm saying that, right, I might be wrong, right? Maybe it's the mentality. Maybe it is. But you would find certain Nigerians who just want to blow, spend, have a good time, mm -hmm. be recognized, and then go back home to not much. It happens. It, it, yeah. You feel me? It's like some of them just want to be... The center of attraction. Yeah, I want to, I want everyone to know that I'm here. But is it a Nigerian thing or is it some humans thing? Because it's, it's a because, human thing. Because you see white people do that. You see pe mm. some people from Ghana as well. You know what I mean? I just think some people do that. Mm, I don't mm, think mm. it's strictly like a Nigerian thing. But now, yes, we are having a Nigerian conversation now, right? But for some weird reason, because I always think about it, why is it that anything that has to do with Nigerians... Get, get blown out of proportion. Whether it's scamming. We are not the only people that do scamming. Yes, and believe it or not, it's just a very tiny majority of people that do scamming. You got me? But for some weird reason, once they talk about scamming in relation to Nigeria, right, you think the whole country does scamming. Yeah. You got what I'm saying? It's not even up to 1%. It's just a couple people here and there. Yes, yeah, some people do it and do it so big, i.e. Yeah. hush puppy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They do it that the whole world hears about it. Everyone's like, yo, what the fuck? Now, I, I think, you know what I'm saying? Uh, unfortunately, right, Nigeria is quite hated. I, it, it, I think that is a notion with D. Even by love, African countries. Love, there's a, hate. There's love, a love, hate, hate type thing there. Okay. Yeah. And... And it, it, I, I don't so much blame Why do you think that people. is? I, I think you guys have just got a bad name to yourselves, which I feel like you're redeeming at the minute. But bro, like you said, back in the day, when it comes to scamming, it was all about Niger, 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 Niger. When you talk about corruption, it was all about Niger, 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 Niger. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Even when it came to romance... Like girls, girls and all of that mm -hmm. was all Niger, Niger guy broke my heart, did this, did that, did that. Do you think, we are being objective right now. Mm. I'm being very objective. Do you think it's because of the hate or do you think because, you know, historically, Nigeria has been, you know, that's a reason why the name Nigeria was called the, the, the elephant of Africa, whatever, mm. right? Yeah. So is it a thing where Nigeria has been on top, has been regarded as this country, they've been on top, boom, 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 right? That eventually, you know, because if you've been on top for quite some time, at some point, people want you to fall. People start hating on you or whatever. It happens. If you look at America, America has been on top for a very long time, but now you see a lot of people, a lot of country coming at them right now. You mm, know what I'm saying? Mm. So do you think that that is the reason I'm not so because, sure. Because I, I think I'm leaning towards that side where, you know, Nigeria's a very large country. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go, I mean, resources, everything. Yes, you know, Nigerians are known to be loud. You go, I mean, and all that kind of stuff, right? So everyone looks at the winner and everyone is trying to take down the winner, especially if you've been winning for so long. Yeah, that's where you've got a point. I'm not going to say, and I'm not hating. No, 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 no. I'm not I, hating I, no, or anything. I, no, I don't I'm not going to say winning for so long, so now people want to take you down or anything. But Nigerians tend to be very loud. They get ego. And they'll let you know that I've got this big ego. Mm. Although they can back it up. They go show you, say, yeah, I've got this ego. And again, that might come with winning in different forms. Mm -hmm. You get me? Because you've got this very rich nation with millionaires, billionaires, mm -hmm. money did the country. Mm -hmm. You guys get oil. You've got the richest black man in the world mm -hmm. and all of that. That to me is winning. Mm -hmm. Like that is a win. Yeah, of course. And then you've got the general population being very egotistical. Like, guy, if Niger person day room, you go no say Niger person day there. Mm -hmm. They are loud. Everybody, like, you, you guys stand out. Mm -hmm. And I think people, some people don't like that, especially some Africans don't like that because then it makes... 
it makes them look smaller. The inferior complex, yeah. Yeah, it makes other African nations, other Africans in general, like individuals, just look smaller <laughs> in a room full of in a room with Nigerians. Nigerians will always stand out. Yeah, like, but yeah, but is it a Nigerian problem or is it's it not a Nigerian problem, problem? But this is why certain people then hate on you when they get the opportunity to. I hear that. You get me. I hear that. They can't do that in Nigeria, of course. <clears throat> but even in Ghana, bro, coming back from Ghana now, you hear stories of where police are, are targeting certain Nigerians because they say Nigerians, they bring crime into Ghana, they, they do prostitution, they, they do this, 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 that. Yeah, yeah. So they are starting to, police are, you know, cracking down on Nigerians and deporting them and all of that. Like, you get, you get what I'm trying to say? It's like, there's this agenda against Nigerians mm. in other countries, in other, in countries, other African yeah. countries. Yeah, 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 it's a real thing. You got me? It's a real thing. You, you, you even hear about it in South Africa as well. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, because the thing is, we are very hardworking people and everything, you know, and we are very industrious as well. So when you go to South Africa, you hear that story all the time. Oh, you know, you hear South Africans say, oh, now they come here, you know, to take our girls and you guys are taking our money, boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? And... And yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I'm very objective. You know, part of it is also because I don't like it when people, and I know that they say it as, you know, a compliment. But then I'm looking at it thinking, bro, I am not a trick. Like, you can't just say that the reason why you like me is because I've spent money. Mm, mm, mm. You get what I mean? Like, so I don't have no other quality. <laughs> You get me? But, but, you get what I'm saying? But, I don't have no other quality and everything. And sometimes I realize, you know what? That kind of makes me feel like as if I'm Jewish or something. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, bro. Like, you know them Jews and everything. If you say, yo, Jews control everything. Yeah, we yeah. say as a compliment, right? Yeah, like, yo, yeah. these guys are so, they are controlling everything, right? But they don't like it. You get what I'm saying? That's how I feel sometimes. You get me? Like, when I hear a bunch of chicks and I've heard it so many times, they said I'm and at the back of my mind, I'm thinking, so because of that, bro, I've become stingy, bruv. Nah. You get me? I've had a couple chicks tell me, are you sure you're Nigerian? <laughs> I say, yeah. <laughs> you guys, are you sure you're Nigerian? I say, yeah. Oh, you guys say, so yeah, it happens and everything, but- Or, or maybe you've hung out with too many Ghanaians, so now you're- <laughs> or maybe I hang out with too many guys. Ching gum hand, bro. Una get gum hand, bro. You get me? Fam, I swear now, a couple of things I've, I've said that to you here on, on the pod. You see, cut your face, cut your face. You guys say, you know, but why would I get that reputation, though? I don't know. I feel like we're just smart people, innit? Yeah, my God, I, I call that. Yeah, you can, you can call that. You can call that stingy all you want. I, I think it, we're just smart. No, bro. I agree with you. We don't spend money on people that are not worth it. Mm. Simple. Yeah. No, no, no. We know we just throw money on, on some nicely shaved bomb bomb and then, nah, bro. Just for the sake of it. Nah. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't yeah. do that. We don't do that. You got <laughs> worth it. Exactly. <laughs> you got me. You got exactly. worth it. But not moving away from, from this South Africa thing, but did you see that guy? There's this dude, this Nigerian living in Ghana, right? And he says Ghana is the Europe of Nigeria. <laughs> Ghana is the Europe of Nigeria. of Nigeria. What does he mean by that? Now nah, he's just trying to say Ghana is so like advanced. It's so like guy. No, we need to talk more. <laughs> when we finish the pod, I'll send you the video. Still, the wait, guy, wait, wait. Is the Europe of Africa or the Europe of of Nigeria? Nigeria. That, well, I think he's trying to say of Africa, but he said of Nigeria. I said Ghana. I'm, I'm repeating. I'm repeating this. Ghana Fam, is the, the whole Europe. of Ghana is not as advanced as Lagos. Guy, why are you why are you getting defensive? Though? I'm not getting defensive. I'm just saying, this is a Nigerian. Well, I'm who's shooting, left. Who's well, probably left Abuja. Well, well, bro, I'm shooting at the messenger fan. You know what I'm saying? You are the messenger. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, if I wake up at two a.m. Mm. and I see someone trying to break into my house and I call the police, I can call the police. The police will come here in ten minutes, five minutes. They will be here. If my electricity run out, I can call ECG. They'll switch my electricity on. If I want to transfer money, I know I don't have to pay all these charges. I can transfer money to someone in two seconds. Niger Ghana is the Europe of Nigeria. I can't get any of these facilities in Nigeria. 
God, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, they bore me. <laughs> you can show the messenger all you want. I'm sure that the messenger right now, bro. I know we meet talk out. But you're the messenger, though. Uh, you, <laughs> bring it on there. I'm going to send you the video, bro. All right, all right. All I don't right. feel laugh. I was like, yo, and you, should, you should just read the comments, man. It's just funny wait, 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 wait. The, the comments were the comments for him or, or the comments were shooting at him? It was a mixed, it was a of mixed, course, bag. it, was, it was a mixed, but yeah. of course, you get the Nigerians being like, Of course, it's this salty guy, this guy's from a village somewhere, Nigeria, yeah, yeah, yeah. All salty of that. And that. you get the Ghanaians backing it up. It's true, like, it's true though. Like, I went to Nigeria and I did this, this, that, that, that. Like, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, nah, fam, yeah. I hear that though. I hear that though. I hear that though. <laughs> that shit crazy, right? <laughs> but let's, fam, let's jump into it, bro. Obviously, this whole situation. Mm-mm. This whole South um, South Africa situation has been going on for a couple of weeks now, right? Yeah. We touched on it a little bit. We thought it was going to come and go away, right? But then, obviously, it just kind of um, just continued growing wings and wings and wings, and here we are, right? So, there is this lady called Chidima Adeshina, which is a very, you know, that tells me that she's probably Igbo mm. and Yoruba. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. so I think her dad is probably mixed Igbo Yoruba. You know what I mean? Because Chidema is an Igbo name, Adeshina is a Yoruba name. Oh, you know see. what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, the dad is Nigerian, the mom is South African, and also from Mozambique. Right, 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 right. Right? right. Yeah. So, um, but then the girl, as the news have it, she was born in South Africa, Soweto. You know what I mean? So obviously... So she's South African. Yeah, she's South African. That's what she knows. That's what she grew mm. up in. You know what I'm saying? And also she studied law as well. You oh, know what I'm sick. saying? Yeah. So very pretty girl and everything. So this whole thing came out. She's part of the whole Miss South African competition and everything, right? And she was picked as, you know, the last 14. Okay. You know, to go into the whole finalist um, stage and everything, right? And then obviously this now happened. We now start seeing a lot of... Um, um, Comments online and everything, right? Outrage coming at her and everything. Talking about she's not a proper South African, you know, because her dad is Nigerian and this and this and this. You know what I mean? So a lot of people were coming at her big time. She didn't say anything. BBC reached out to her, but she declined to comment. Mm. You know what I'm saying? She didn't say nothing. Then the organizers, the Me South African organizers, reached out to BBC and told her that she is eligible to, to, to be stand. in the competition okay. because okay. she has a South African passport. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? And then, um, but then the Home Affairs sort of got into the whole investigation and everything, the organizers, because of the whole scrutiny, because they thought it was going to go away, it kept on growing. So they now reached out to the Home Affairs. That's our Home Office. Um, home office. You get what I'm saying? So they now started looking into it and everything. And then it came out that allegedly the mom has committed um, potential identity fraud. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. But this was when Chidima was still a baby. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So a potential identity fraud that possibly led to her being registered as no, a no. South African or something yeah. like that. But you she was still saying? born in South Africa. Yeah, yeah, but she was still born in South Africa. You know what I mean? So if I'm looking at it, obviously they didn't really go into details about it, but I'm thinking it's just one of them ones where, you know, but it just doesn't make sense because if they say that the mom is South African, I'm, half South African I'm and hearing, half Mozambique. Okay, okay. I'm hearing the, 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 what I heard was she she's of Mozambique descent. Mm. So okay. I don't know if she's one of them people that, came from Mozambique to and live then, in South Africa as a, as a, maybe as a child or during her adult life and then became South African through yeah, a she different could, process or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, she kind of nationalized. Nas- yeah, you I don't know if that's we what don't they know mean. Yeah. Because they've not gone into details and everything, you get know what I'm saying? You know, and now because of all this, um, will I say, <laughs> evidence that's coming out now, the Chidema girl has now decided to withdraw from the competition. That is sad. That's very sad, bro. That is very, very sad to make it to the last, what, 14? And and now to withdraw and everything. You get what I'm saying? And now the conversation now is about whether their citizenship will have to be taken away. Yeah. 
Or it's gotten that deep. It's going that deep now. You get what I'm saying? So they are doing the whole investigation and all that kind of stuff. Whether their citizenship, the parents, and, and apparently to the South African law is when your parents lose their citizenship or whatever, the child also loses the citizenship. Is it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bro, I was watching an interview and everything. You get what I'm saying? And they were discussing this. So what's going to happen is she will have to go back to where her parents from, whether it's Nigeria or Mozambique. That is fucked up. Excuse my language, but that yo, is so messed up. That is that is stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever, I mean, because to me, whatever the mom did, if she did something, has nothing to do with the girl. Of course not. She was a baby. She was a toddler. I I, I get it. Your laws are your laws. You get what I'm trying to say, but mm-hmm. you cannot pick and choose when to accept certain people. And when not to accept certain people. You're not going to do that. Nah, that is bullshit. No, nah, you can't do that. Why do they feel so threatened? That is my question. Why, why should this be a big deal? Bro, I was thinking about the same thing too. I'm thinking, is it because of, you know, is it because it's a beauty pageant? Because nobody talks about this when it comes to sports. No one does, bro. You go, I mean, we see different countries, especially whether it's World Cup or the Olympics and everything, right? You know, this person has never stepped foot in Ghana before. <laughs> you know, this person has never step, stepped um, foot in Nigeria before. This person has never um, stepped foot in South Africa before, but they are representing the country. The country. You I mean, what, what, watch, look at the Euros, that, not, not to even talk about the Olympics. See the Euros. What country was it? Was it, Den- no, not Denmark. I think it was flipping Belgium or... Or Holland or one of them countries. Bro, like seven or eight of their players were of African descent. France. France as well. Like, and it's cool. It's cool. You see them, you know that they're Africans. Like maybe they were immigrants that migrated to the yeah, country. Yeah, the parents or whatever. Whatever. Yeah. But they are accepted. They can play that sport for that country. Yeah. Because they are good. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. So, bro, we, we've got Barack Obama. We've got flipping our ex-prime minister in this country. There you go. They are all of different... They are from different countries. I, f- I think, bro, I think it has something to do with, you know, beauty. Why? I think a lot of them, you know, are threatened, in my opinion, because they are looking at it thinking, okay, you guys want to get this person who is not really from here. Well, she's from there. You got know I me, mean? but in their own words, who is not fully South African, you know, dad and mom or whatever, to say, okay, this is the standard of beauty in our country type thing. I personally think that that's the problem right there because nobody talks about this, just like you said, when yeah. it comes to sports. Yeah. Nobody talks about this when it comes to politics. You got know what I'm saying? We see Trevor Noah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, the dad is from Swiss or something like that. Swiss, um, Switzerland or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or his, Sweden. His something dad like that. Is Swiss, Swiss, Swiss yeah, or something yeah, like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the mom is South African, but then he calls himself South African and all South Africans he's accepted, say, yeah, he? he's South African, yeah, he's yeah. South African and everything. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So why is it a problem when it comes to this? I personally think it has something to do with the standard of beauty. It has something to do with, you know, whether her skin color, whatever the case is. It's just crazy. I think another thing it's got to do with is the fact that she's Nigerian as well. Mm. I, I, I think that agenda of Nigerians taking over, which goes back to the conversation that we were having. Goes back to that. That one today. Because I bet you not, if she was like half Kenyan, if her dad was Kenyan or some country like that, I don't think it would have, I don't know. I don't know. But personally, I don't think it would have been as a big deal as it is now. But I hear you. Yeah, because I not, might agree with you, maybe 50%. Maybe not. But then but then I heard about, you know, the 2023 contestant as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who I believe the dad was Ugandan or something. Yeah. And the mom was South, South African. African. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she also faced the same. But she didn't well. redraw though. It, I don't think it was as big as this. I think she went on to contest. Is it? I can't remember. I can't remember. You know, but you you probably have a bro. You probably have a point. With that, it's know? always gonna be bigger with a Nigerian involved. It's always gonna be, that hit for Nigerians still D. Mm, the threat of oh they are Nigerian. It's still D. It's deeper than other countries. If it was if if she was a nationality of, I feel like that agenda really D. Because you guys are coming here 
to take our jobs, like they always say. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you guys are coming here making our money. You guys are coming here fucking our chicks. Yeah, bro. Our chicks love you. Yep. You go, know I mean, because we are not going to, if we're going to talk about South African girls and how they view Nigerians. That's uh, a I real shit. That. I've heard that. I've heard, you know that. I've heard about that. And then now you now want to say this is the standard of beauty. In South Africa, bro, we are not having that. I can see them. I, I can see them thinking it's like that. It's annoying, man, because we imagine if we could stand together. Like Africans always they do our Africans. Like we they do ourselves too much. Bro, it's mad. When we go start advocate for this whole unity shit, like come on, man. Bro. Like it's not like she's half flipping Asian or half she would probably be accepted if she was half West, like from, from a Western country. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. You know, I started hearing terms like um, Afrophobic. Mm. You know, I started hearing, obviously, we all know about xenophobic and everything. But the new term that I heard is Afrophobic, which kind of stems from xenophobic. Xenophobic, yeah. You yeah. get what I'm saying? You know, I can't remember the definition. You guys go check that out. <laughs> you know, but nah, bro, it's a, it's a very sad situation. But Aye. then um, what has now happened is. Um, the Miss Nigeria organization has now wrote a letter to her. Okay. Yeah, they now wrote a letter to her, um, inviting her to come and contest in Nigeria. Oh, to apply to contest yeah. in uh, Miss Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. So that is that is that is a win. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. That's proper. So this is what they said to her. They said, um, "We at Miss Universe, we at Miss Universe Nigeria have been closely following the development regarding your decision to bow out." of the Miss South African um, beauty pageant. We acknowledge the circumstances surrounding your withdrawal and understand the challenges you may be facing. In light of these events, we want to extend our support and encouragement. We believe that your journey in the world of pageantry is far from over and that there are still numerous opportunities for you to showcase your talent, grace, and beauty. As a Nigerian by heritage, we would like to firmly invite you to participate in the Miss Universe Nigeria 2024 pageant. This is an opportunity to represent your father's native land on an international stage, and we believe you would be an outstanding contender. We, we encourage you to consider this opportunity and take part in the competition that celebrates the strength, intelligence, and diversity of Nigerian women. Should you wish to participate, all you need to do is respond to this inv um, inv invitation and we will be delighted to guide you through the next step. We look forward to hearing from you and hope to see you continue your journey in pageantry with the Miss Universe Nigeria pageant. That, that is beautiful, man. That's amazing. That That's is amazing. beautiful. Nah. That's amazing. Now, nah, big ups to Nige. Big ups to Nigeria for actually doing that, reaching out to her and that. Yeah, man. You go, I mean, because, because, it's, because it's sad. Whatever her mom did, right? That's if the mom did something. Who knows? But... Let's assume that the, that mom did something, right, bro? It's not her fault. This is this is the definition you know what of I'm it, saying? A, a child. We all, for... bro, we all know that people <laughs> come into different countries and nationalize in different ways. You get what I'm saying? It had so some people will find, try to find a way to do their own thing, mm -hmm. as long as you know you're not causing trouble or whatever. You get what I'm saying? And hey. Brother, she's got a Nigerian you know I mean? South African passport. She was born in Soweto. <laughs> That's like typical. This is why sometimes I miss the the Gaddafis and the and the Mandelas and all of that. You know, these presidents or or leaders that were really advocating for yeah for togetherness I and know. unity and all of that. I know. You know, I know. And even Tyler commented on the thing. She said, "I will um I will always stand with South Africa." I just feel regardless of the opinions, she was bullied and that's not what I, and that's what I don't stand for. Mm. And bro, they wanted to kill the girl, bro. <laughs> Fam, you, go you through know, the go, comments, you know, go, bro. You don't go drink your water and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, you don't go drink your water and sit down. Fam, they wanted, fam, go look at the comments, oh, bro. She. They wanted to chop her neck off. They said, listen, don't even step into this arena, fam. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We have been supporting you and everything. I don't think you want to do this. But she said though, nothing bad, though. Fam, she didn't say anything bad. But, but, but listen, but you know how these people are. It's the but, isn't it? The but. <laughs> they don't want you to even <laughs> say anything, bruv. 
You get what I'm saying? Because, oh, bro, shit. we are. <laughs> if you say anything, we are gonna open your nyash. <laughs> As they tell you. You get what I'm nah, saying? But this girl, I hope, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna go on to greater things. Absolutely, man. bro. Absolutely, yeah. bro. Absolutely, bro. Salute to her. Salute to her. <laughs> <laughs> and bro, talking about controversy and everything, yeah. Is it me or the Paris Olympics? Yeah, it's just full of controversy, bro. Which, which or contro- is it social media, fam? Which controversy again? Don't you see this whole news about the boxer? Well, oh shit! <laughs> you got what I'm saying, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I get it. I don't know if she's a woman. Um, <laughs> I don't know if she's a transformer, fam. You got what I'm saying? I, said transformer. I don't know what she is. Oh shit! You got what I'm saying? But I saw them talking about her and everything. That back in the day, they did test on her and somebody mm-hmm. else, and they found out that she has X Y chromosomes and everything. Right now, whatever happened, she didn't want to to uh, what's it called? Ah, you know when they find you guilty and then you say no, I don't agree with this. And oh, then, she didn't want to plead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she didn't want to um, um what, whatever what, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So she kind of left it. But then the thing is, where the test was done was in Russia. You know, now obviously everybody knows that Russia is the enemy of the West. So everyone is saying, nah, that doesn't count or whatever. So people are saying, okay, why don't you do another test then? But now she doesn't want to do it. You get what I'm saying? But this girl. Or this transformer, <laughs> you yeah, get what I'm saying? <laughs> you get me? She's in. She is in the Olympics, knocking everybody's but head off. She's bro. participating as a woman, isn't it? But she's, bro. Listen, <laughs> cool. I hear that. But you're knocking every girl head off, bro. But I'm pretty sure. The organization committee or whoever would have done some test, at least some minimal test Fam. to confirm that you're a woman. Yeah, but it's hard because you now have people, you know, this whole transgender thing has gone so deep that you have people that will, even if it's the truth, they'll be like, nah, she has the right to compete with you because she she um, recognizes herself as a woman type. You get what but I'm that's saying? a bit fucked up. I, I feel, I, I know this is mean, but they need to draw a line though. Bro, fam, this is not just you, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. with you on this one, fam. Yeah. You go I mean? Because we talk about women's rights all the time and everything, yeah? Nobody will stand still and watch a heterosexual man beat the shit out of a nah. woman. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that she's a heterosexual man. We don't know. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? But when I look at her, I've got eyes. When I look at that, I'll be like, listen, there is something here. There's something here. There's something something is not adding up. Whatever is here, it's not just adding up. It's not adding up. Especially, I read it with my own eyes that back back in the day when they did the test and everything, they found out that she has X, Y chromosomes, which interprets that she's a man. You know what I mean? But, Let's go with, we don't know. But fam, that Italian girl did not last 40, 40 bro, seconds, bruv. She, <laughs> she, yeah, she, she tap out now. What? what? You, want, you want to make the kill on for this? What? <laughs> fam. She, she, she knew she was fired a man from the get-go. She's like, nah. nah, nah she was nah, like, nah. nah. You know what I mean? And also the finals, which was yesterday. She oh, won I, the gold, I missed didn't that. it? I missed that one She won still. the gold, bro. She, she just ran through the chicks, bro. Nah, this is not fair. This is not fair. I don't care what nobody says, bruv. Nah, this is not fair. Like, if it was a different type of sport, okay. But uh, this is a ring. We're in a ring. We're, we're fighting. We are fighting, bro. Nah, they need the guy, they need to draw a line. If they are going to draw a line and say transgenders are not allowed, like, if you need to be born to a certain sex to be able to participate as that sex. Or transgenders should have their own category. Category, fair enough. Although, I don't know if they'll get enough participants, though. But They yeah, might. They might do. They Bro, might fam, do. Fam, the world is going fam, to, yeah. We have the Olympics. We have the Para-Olympics. Para-Olympics. <laughs> Ain't it? They have their own category, Are you Bro. saying there, there's more... There's more transgenders in the world now than, than, than hell yeah than handicapped people. Hell yeah, bro, sure? he, bro. I don't know about more than handicapped people, but there are a lot of transformers walking around us, bro. <laughs> That's a fact. Where we don't know. Where, where we don't know, bro. <laughs> yeah, where we don't know, fam. That's a whole fact, bro. You get what I'm saying? But listen, I I think that they should have their own categories. Yeah. The one that recognize themselves as men. Should have their own categories. The one that recognize themselves are women should oh, have yeah. their own categories. Then, uh, and they can beat the shit out of it. It's really not fair. It's not you fair. You know what I mean? Because I can't even enjoy the fact. No, no, you no. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I put on the fight, I, w- I want to see two women beat the shit out Going of each other. Going at each other, yeah. 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 Guys, sometimes women fight sweet. Yeah, 
Yeah, bro. Hey, nah, yeah, yeah, nah. yeah, yeah. Some of them really sweet. Nah. And some of them are fucking strong. Like, don't get me wrong. A lot of them really work hard to get. You can't work hard to then be put against a man. Bro, sometimes I, w- I want to see, you see the before and after picture. She's a very sexy girl. Yeah, you yeah. get what I'm saying? You see the after picture, they beat the shit out of her, sure. bro. I want to see that. I want to see that But shit. I want to see her being beaten by another woman. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But I'm just looking, it's becoming this whole thing, this whole um scandal online and everything and then photos came out of the french president <laughs> on a boat kissing another man it's not another man <laughs> did you see that yeah I, I i heard of it i didn't see the picture you but know I mean? bro the picture's right there kissing another man and everything bro even though mama as well has always had a scandal around him that his wife wait what that his wife it's probably also a transformer as well. You did lie. On God. Is it? Yes. A lot of people have been Allegedly. saying Allegedly. Allegedly. But a lot of people have been saying it. They've released pictures and everything. Even over there, they are clamping the journalists down and everything. The journalists that have been doing the investigations and all that. You go, I mean, apparently. Allegedly. <laughs> He was, I think he was about 14, 15 years old or wherever. The, wa- the wife right now was, was his teacher. Yes. So we are talking about an alleged pedophilia. What the fuck, man? France, you know? You know what I'm saying? I know, now, I know French people are a bit... Eh, but, yeah, exactly, bro. Uh, this is different. When you look at his wife now, so I think his wife is around 70-something yeah, years old. older, yeah. Yeah, and I think he's still in his 40s. Yeah, I know about the age gap. You know what I mean? Like, he's still in his 40s. So if you got some brain, you do the calculations, right? And you... Well, let me see. Um, French president. Yeah, yeah. Bro, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. The French president. How old is he? He's 46. Yeah? He's 46 years old. And his spouse, Brigitte Macron, whatever he's not, he's on her name, is 71. That's, what, that's 25 years That doesn't old, make yeah. sense when you read deep it. 71 years old and he's when, when 46. When your peers are going for younger women, you're going... You're going. Bro, do the calculations. <laughs> you get know what I'm saying? And, and now nah, it's crazy. Like, I just kind of think that they are weird over there, bro. Nah. You know the French have always... Yeah, there's always been this notion about their... Be, I don't know. Their whole sexual shit. Yeah. You go, I mean, I think that's the reason why they call Paris the city of... Is it city of city love? City of love. Yeah. Anybody fit chop love for them? Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> oh, you go, I mean, you meet a... Pre- uh, fam, you meet a pretty girl. You meet a pretty girl on the road. You take her home and everything. The next morning you wake up. You you're, you're, you're with a transformer, fam. Well, that is mad. Now I get what you mean by so many controversies, Fam, man. so many controversies, yeah? And then now, Michael Jordan's son, Marcus Jordan... Pictures came out of my man on his boat and everything. Yeah? Snorting some booger sugar, fam. <laughs> <laughs> my mama was really good, he's, bro. He's enjoying himself now. Tell I mean, fuck that. Fuck that shit. I don't even know why that shit. I don't know why people, they are taking pictures. Guy, make him, let him do his shit. Make the guy enjoy himself. Make him enjoy himself, bro. Guy, we don't know what we'll be doing if we're super rich. We don't know what we, I don't know what you will be doing. Bro, I always say that that's a reason why God did, did, did not make me rich or famous. There we go then. That's a reason why. Because you don't know, you know what you're going to do. You got know I me, mean? especially at a young age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he, 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 was, he, was he was born in, in he, was, he was born with a, not even a, a, a golden spoon, a diamond spoon in his mouth. What bro. are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You got know I me. Mean? And when you look at his spec, he has a he has yeah. a specific type of type spec. Of, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He has a specific type of Which spec. Which is a little unusual, but okay. You know what I'm saying? You know? But do you think, yeah, because I was thinking about this, yeah. Do you think Scotty Peeping? Because mm. you remember he was dating um Scotty Peeping's yeah, yeah. ex-wife. Yeah, yeah, ex-wife, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Do you think he 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 probably had to green light that shit and be like, yeah, put that shit out? <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't put it past nobody, bro. <laughs> I don't put it. You got my cynical brain. We'll think about that. You get me? Like, they probably took pictures or whatever. Said to yeah, him, like, say, you say, yeah, yeah, put drop that, that picture. Yeah. yeah, put that Let picture. Let them all see it. Hell yeah. That is possible. If it was me, I'd probably do it. That is possible because my mind was hurt. They, they hurt that more. Fortunately. It was he, he's already he's already a bit crazy, but you could tell that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him. My my myself and your dad played on the same yeah, yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. And here you Small are, boy. And here you are putting my ex-wife on all fours, bro. And on she, all she fours, and she didn't bro. even come out. Oh, she didn't even come out like you know, most times they go try to deny I'm swindle. I'm nobody. Care. She was proud of that. Yeah, shit, yeah. Bro. She was posting pictures. Picture in there, everything, bro. like yo, fam. She was posting pictures to the point that her son, because her son used to play for the Lakers. Oh, okay. Her son plays for the NBA now, or rather, their son. Oh yeah, they are, yeah, young yeah? boy. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's quite young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, he yeah. he un- unfollowed on Instagram. Is it? Yeah. I'll do the same, bro. I don't want my parents on Instagram. I don't want my parents on. Why? They no be, bro. Why? Especially if if my parents, you know what? Bro, I don't you can't. You can't say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, cool. My parents, if they are moving the way Larsa Pippen was moving, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah I don't want to see that. You don't want to see that. You I don't, don't want to see that. You don't want to see that. Doesn't mean you're not gonna see that. Like, right, yeah. Especially if you're famous, people yeah, are no. gonna tag you in pictures. Yeah, it's bro. their life, isn't it, guy? The same way you get your life, bro. Who knows what you'll be doing when you're in your 50s, 60s? Who knows? I definitely not gonna be moving like that. <laughs> you say that now, make the money and tie your head. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> no, I definitely. No, see, I, see, I hear what you're saying. See, if I get that kind of money, yeah. If I get that kind of money, that and to me, that's the thing, yeah. Because when I look at people like Didi, I shake my head. If I'm in my 50s. I'm not saying you should get married, none of that, right? If, if you want to get married, that's fine, whatever, right? But, bro, if I'm in my 50s and I'm not married and, and, and I'm comfortable like that, yeah, there are a certain level of chicks, yeah, that you will never see me around. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean that I'm not smashing you know, they probably might come around 12 midnight and leave 2 a.m. in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Chauffeur them to the house. That's it, bro. If you, if you put bag on top of their heads. <laughs> <you know? laughs> so you got me so that they don't know where you live, man. Yeah, yeah. You got me yeah, saying? Yeah. But anytime you see me outside and if there's a woman that has to be by me, whether we're going to a party or function or wherever, it has to it be. It has to be. Yes, it, yeah, exactly. And when I look at Didi, to me, at some point, you can't be living your life as a 20, 23, 30-year-old guy. You got what I'm saying? There was no way Diddy should have been hanging around. What's her name again? Young Miami and mm. Nah. Mm. Nah. Mm. While, while, while your mate, Jay-Z, is hanging around with, with, Beyonce, with and Beyonce and that. You got what I mean? While ASAP Rocky is with Rihanna. You got what I mean? Bro, you don't, ha- you don't need to hang around with none of these industry chicks nah, if you don't want to. Facts, facts. Guy, Import some girl from south of facts, France, bro. Facts, facts. But a matured, that's what I'm saying. Pretty looking supermodel woman. or whatever. If you want to do your bullshit, do, do it. your bullshit at do night. It. Yeah, make nobody see. But to be seen in power. Now, nah, what you're saying is facts. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when I look some of these celebrities and everything, I'm thinking, but then I, I guess it's easier said than done because I'm not a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes when I look at them, I'm, I'm like thinking, bro, why are you guys moving the way you're moving, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like why that, you no, like, but with the men, with the mentality we've got right now, we would try to move a certain type of way. Like if we got rich right now, we yeah. go. I don't know. I don't know where you get. I don't know. Maybe you go past that level where you don't give a shit anymore. I don't know. Nah, bro. Even at my age right now, there are some th- there are some places I don't even want to go to. Mm, 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 there are some mm, places yeah. when someone invite me and say, "Yo, guy, come." On. Nah, I don't even want to go. There are some people you probably will not see me around there, and when I look at some of those people, I'm thinking, you get me? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing, bro? Especially if you're as, as big as you are, pause. You get what I mean? Like, you you know somebody's recording. He's recording. Somewhere. Yeah, everyone's got a phone now. Everyone's got a phone now. Yeah. Someone is recording somewhere. That shit crazy, man. But yeah, they catch my guy, bro. My guy was feeling good, bro. Yeah. When you see that picture of him putting on his nose and when you see the picture of him after looking at after. his phone, bro, my man was looking <laughs> good, bro. <laughs> yeah, but all these rich, famous people, apparently they, they do this shit yeah, like cool. on a regular. Just don't get caught doing it. And then, But even if you get caught these days, bro, like to me, like who gives a shit anymore? Fam, 
it's not it's not even celebrities alone, bro. Yeah. Die. Go on a work do, go on a on a night out, you know, night out or wherever the case is, bro. It's a regular shit. It's a regular shit. It's a regular shit. Go go inside the toilet, bro. If you see them. It's just it's not done like. Yeah, man. They'd be like, yo, yo, man, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you see their eye, their eye just is red. You get what I'm saying? It's, Fact, like, it's, I'm cool. it's, it's like it's, it's going to that stage where it's so cool to do it. Well, I know that, back in the day it was, but then people frowned upon it recently. But now it's like it's cool to do it. Fam, fam. Once they do that shit and everything, if you're talking to them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, their job, bro. Their job just they move. Just they, move bro. they can't control their job, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it's one thing. Nuts. There's a lot of things I want to experience before I die. But it's one thing that I... I, I You've I, never... I yeah. don't think I want to experience it before I die. Fam, I've been in places. I've been in places where, where, you know, I walked in there and everything. Somebody said, yo, I literally walked in and they were just... You hear me? And they offered me. They were like, yo, Toby, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I looked at the thing, bro. That too. I was tempted, right? I was tempted because I wanted to see what it felt like. But I said, nah, nah, nah. 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 You get because for some weird reason, I've just never been a drug type mm, of person. Mm, 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 you know mm, what I'm mm. saying? I think maybe because I was growing up, there, there has always been this notion that if you take drugs, you'll go mad. <laughs> you yeah, get me? That notion deal. You get me? <laughs> it's always been a thing. Even that for was, weed, yeah, all of that. That has always been the notion back home and everything, you know, especially in my family. You know, if you take drugs, you're going crazy. If you take drugs, you go. You get what I mean? So I just be like, hey, I know I'm going mad. You get what I'm saying? You know, especially back then in Nigeria. Here is different. If you see a crazy person on the road, right? A crazy person might wear suits. You get me? But you don't know you're crazy, fam. Back home, I, I, I don't know about Ghana. It's but same, if you see a mad person on the road, they're walking on the road naked, fam. Same thing, bro. Same thing. <laughs> they're walking on the road naked. I don't know if it's the same thing now. It's, it, it still is. You don't see the nakedness so much, but you see, like, the tattered clothes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the fucked up hair, like, you, no slippers, nothing. Just strolling, strolling. Yeah. I, I can't remember the last time I saw it. They are probably still there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You get me? So I saw that. I was like, nah, I don't want to be like that. You get what I'm saying? So I never really was a drug person. But then also, because of the type of nature that I have, right? I'm a very... um, I'm, like, I'm a creature of habit, mm. right? Meaning if I do something and I like it, bro, you are not stopping me. I will keep on going till I crash. Too, yeah, yeah. I'm, I've got that personality. That's the reason why I stay away from, from a lot of things. Mm, yeah, mm, 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 mm. I have that personality. Charlie, if I did this chick right now and it's total nice, <laughs> you are not stopping me, fam. You're, you're stuck on it. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you are not stopping even, me, bro. Even, even if it means skipping work to go do that total. No, 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 no. <laughs> maybe not work. Maybe not work. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. May, maybe not work and everything, but I've been in stations where it got me in trouble in my personal life and everything. Yeah, where I did something. You get what I'm saying? And bro, I kept on going and they kept on catching me. Mm. I kept on going, bro. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro, I, I have that personality. Once I do something, let me not just enjoy it. Mm. Once, you're Once hooked. I enjoy it, I am gone. So because of that, I stayed away from certain drugs, things. Certain that, yeah, things. Yeah. Because yeah. imagine if you go try them and then you oh like it. Oh my god! And you bro, get hooked. Yo, I yo, would have been a cookhead. Yo, now, you're on the highway to wherever you're going, what? bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, but uh, I've, yeah. I've tried a few bits here and there of different things, but. Yeah. That particular one, mm, nah. It, it's I think it's that I find uh, I, <laughs> it's I too far it's for you. Yeah? Nah, it's too far. I feel like it's the devil. Like, yeah, it's too I don't far. Know. For yes, yes, yeah, too far. Especially with this whole fentanyl thing as well. Yeah, you know, you you just don't know what you're. You don't taking, know what man. they are mixing shit with. Yeah, yeah you know, just don't know what you're taking now, bro. Yeah, fam, that shit is crazy, man. Right, let let crazy. them enjoy. Let them enjoy their lives. Yeah, yeah, but uh, um, have you been watching these Olympics though? I've been. I've. I've they watch them here and there. I know this Nigerian woman won the, was it the 400 relay or something like that? Mm. Oh, Niger, yeah, 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 yeah. She did her thing on that still. She did her thing. Guy, are they full on? Because there's not many Ghanaians in there. I'm like, eh. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm yeah, not yeah, hating. Hate I'm not hating. Yeah, hate and because I've been traveling, because I just like, I know to, to the interest they pay that, attention. Yeah, yeah. Same that. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've Same not really well. paid that much attention, bro. Same as well. But then did you hear that Sakode, um, because he was supposed to perform 
at the closing ceremony yeah, thing yeah, or whatever yeah. that should have been cancelled. It's not happening anymore. Yeah, I heard about that shit. Why? I don't know why. I don't know why, but from from another, the thing I heard, another controversy, isn't it? Bro, it's mad. From what I read and everything, yeah. So the organizers, they fumbled. Huh. That's what I read. But then, even before now, for weeks, a lot of people did not want him to perform. I saw I saw a lot of articles talking about that that um people were kind of protesting against it. You get what I'm saying? That they didn't want him to perform and everything. This is what I read and everything, yeah? So, Ghanaian rapper Sakodia International Engagement Agency, Ego Blog, announced a cancellation of the rapper's highly anticipated performance at the Station Afrique, that's Africa Fan Zone event in Paris, which was scheduled for yesterday, the 9th of August 2024. According to a press release shared yesterday, on the day of, on the, day of the performance... <laughs> The cancellation stems from the event organizer's failure to meet the terms of the contract signed two months ago. That's mad. Eagle Plug expressed that despite their best effort to ensure Sakodia could perform, the agency in charge of the event did not fulfill the necessary conditions required for the performance to proceed. It's sabotage, my guy. Yeah, yeah. But, but, you know, for I weeks... Mean, come on, the whole Olympics committee, I get it's the African whatever section, but it's still under the Olympic umbrella. Yeah. Come on, like, for two months, something that you... Like, come on, it doesn't add up. Yeah, they sabotage the guys. So they, they could not keep up to the public. Come on, bro. Yeah, they sabotage the guy. Whatever yeah. it is, I want that, well... <laughs> you go, I mean, it's crazy. But yeah, man... Listen, Olympics, I'm glad. I'm glad that, that, listen, I cannot wait for it to be over. I'm not even going to lie. It's been, when is it even over? I know it goes on for like a month. It's already been like two weeks now. There about. Yeah. There about. And yeah, I think it should be over soon. Mm. Yeah, I think it should be over soon, bro. You know what I'm saying? But bro, let's jump into this shit, bro. What we, what, we, what we jumping in? Let's jump into the shit, bro. Which thing we did you jump know what into? I mean? I know that everybody, bro, I've been getting DMs. Yo, bro, you know, have you listened to the album? I can't Lungu wait for boy, what, yeah? You go, I'm a Lungu boy, bro. You get me? I can't wait to hear what you guys are going to say say about the album. Lungu feel, boy. You go, know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? We are here. You go, know I mean? We are here, bro. Lungu boy. Should we do this, bruh? <laughs> Should we do this? I love the album. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lungu boy. Mr. Money with the vibes. Let's go. Uh yeah. Uh, well, this this song bad though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. this song bad. When oh. I first hear, I was like, "Yo, Lungu boy is gonna be mad." Baby, mm. <laughs> they mm. Hey, let's go. Mmm. And what? Yeah, 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 yeah. And what? Let's go. Hey. Hey. Mm. Sorry. Mm, mm, mm. Hey. Bro, the way Travis came into this year, bro. Travis was riding on this beat, bro. On God in heaven, bro. He did not leave no crumbles, fam. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Beach house, beach house. Bro, that is a banger, bro. Active. That's a banger on God, bro. See, listen. This song, 
to me, this song is the highlight of the album. Mm. No, 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 no. I know that I'm, I'm not just saying it because it's got Travis on it, whatever, whatever. But this song, I would have said Central C's one because that was a fucking banger. But this song, guy, you know they hear the tunes. You know they hear, you know they hear the mix. Fab. You don't see the way Travis step into what I'm saying. Like, bro, it has that huge Bro. What? Nah, nah, this song be the highlight of the whole fucking album. And this is Ashake telling you lot that I'm not just that African guy. Who, that I'm a piano I'm that. not just that African, I'm a piano guy. I'm that global fucking superstar right now. Mm. That is a statement on this fucking Fact. song. Because I'm not going to lie, bro. I was waiting. I didn't know what to expect. Mm. You go, know I mean? I didn't know what to expect when I saw him and Travis Scott, they got a song coming out, mm, right? Mm, mm. I said, what the fuck? You get what I'm saying? All right, cool. I kind of felt the same way with Central C. We saw what he did with Central C and everything. We were like, all right, cool. That's dope. But not Travis. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're talking about this guy. He's from Houston. You know, he's... You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Where is this going to go? Where is it going to go? You get what I'm saying? So when that song dropped, when that song dropped, and I listened to it, because I first heard the audio, and then I saw the video, the video just crystallized the whole thing for me. Mm. You get what I'm saying? The way Ashake was doing his thing and the fact that he stuck to his old Yoruba accent mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. he got mm -hmm. in on language. Mm -hmm. And then Travis, you know, my man just came in, mm -hmm. just riding on the beef mm -hmm. and everything. Like, I was mm -hmm. like thinking, bro, this, this shit right here is fire. It's an active song. It's fire, nah, bro. It's, it's fire. They, nah, they, they, bro, both of them, both of them. I shall keep you the guy. It's just a bit annoying because I hear this song. I hear Sinch Cinch one wave. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah. Shaki is coming. Yeah, yeah. Then you hear this one as well. You're like, yo, this like block road. Like, we're blocking the fucking road. Mm. And then I hear the album and I'm a bit like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. I'm a bit like, oh, oh damn. My anticipation, my whole vibe, my whole like expectation, like it was on 100, but now it's dropped to like 65, 70. I'm thinking, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> No, 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 no. But you get what I'm trying to say. I hear you though. Had I not heard these two songs, right? Before the album dropped. I go be like, okay. Okay. All right. But those two songs just build my whole expectation, anticipation, anticipation so high. Because bro, these songs, to me, these are one of the two songs I've heard this year that I'm like, yo. So how about if he did it this way? How about if he dropped either the Central C one or the Travis Scott one? And dropped, you know, the other, maybe one of the other songs, mm. the the kind of, you know, mellowed, mellowed type of songs one, yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Would that kind of balance out your expectation? Maybe a little bit. Maybe if you had dropped, if you had left Travis's one active, leave that one, and then maybe drop like the one with um, not even even not anyone, maybe drop like worldwide, and then. These lot came. I'll be like, okay. And All then right. I had active for the first time on the album. I'll be like, yo. Within the sequence of yeah. the album. But I, I don't know. Maybe because I hear these two. Bro, I, I, I was gassed for the album. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it. I'm still enjoying it. And this is another thing. It might be too early. It might be a slow burner. I think it's definitely too early. Yeah, it might be a slow burner. I might be judging it way too early. Yeah. But at the moment, I'm just listening to it, comparing it to his other body of works. And, you and I'm like, feeling yeah. like this is not meeting the that. other ones. Yeah. The only thing I can say to the positive is is different to his other body of works. The sound. The sound is different, which I enjoyed. Because a lot of people, they talk, say, you know, all this talk about I'm a piano. He can only vibe on I'm a piano beats. Mm -hmm, this, mm -hmm, that, 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 mm -hmm. that. This is a little different. Mm -hmm, so this mm -hmm. shows that he's got versatility. Oh, like, hell yeah. He's, he's proper versatile. Oh, hell yeah. You feel me? But hell yeah. I don't know if, and again, I don't know if he rushed it. I don't think he did. Because apparently af after this, I don't know how true it is, but this might be the last album he drops under YBNL. I'm hearing the thing though. I'm hearing that 
you know? Yeah. I'm, I, the news is kind of out there, you know, because a lot of people are saying that he sounded like someone who's going to eventually leave, leave. YBNL and yeah. everything, you know, because, I mean, he's becoming this, I wouldn't go as far to say a global superstar, but I always say this, and this is no shade to anybody, right? Mm. You know, unfortunately, we saw that with Whiskey as well when he was on the banky, right? At some point, you get to that ceiling, right? You get to that ceiling where you kind of have to, I, I wish that was not the case, but you kind of have to sign to an international label mm. to kind of now take you worldwide. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, when yeah. I look at someone like Asha K and everything, I think he's getting to that ceiling or he has gotten to that ceiling where he now has to get into the next stratosphere, mm. if that makes sense, mm. you know? But the news is out there anyways, you know? We're going to see how that happens. But in terms of the album, you know, just like yourself, I just love the fact that it's a different sound, you know, to say, you know what, well, bro, I am not just that one-trick pony. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I've got this other bag as well. You know what I'm saying? So I enjoyed the album. I didn't rush to listen to it, mm. you know, because everybody was on it. Everybody was on it when it first dropped. I said, okay, let me just chill out and everything, you know. And later on, I got into it. And just like yourself, you know, obviously, you hear the two singles, you think, okay, is this the direction that the album is going to go? But then once you start the album, once you start the album, the first track, yeah, before I continue what I want to say, yeah, and this is the reason why. When I say some things, right... Speak, I, speak, bro, speak. I know what I'm saying, bro. You see, let me play the first album and then I'm going to say what I want to say. The first the album first is... Song, sorry, mean. the first track is Start. Listen to this. Mm, oh, do my team, mommy. Hey, yo. Oh, do my team, mommy. O-D-L. Bro, you know who that is? That's Asha. Mm. How many times have I come on this podcast and say, yo, what the hell is going on, right? Asha, in my eyes, is a legend. I personally put her on the same level as the Adels of the world of the Lana Del Rey of the world. Yes, I do. I just sort of feel like, okay, because they... Oh, oh yeah. We, we, know, we, know, we, know, we, know you, we know you love this song. We I know. know. I know. You got know I me. Mean? But because they are white, right? And obviously they are into the whole pop thing or whatever the case is, right? They have, you know, bigger audience and everything, yeah? But when you look at Asha, if you're listening to music and everything, go listen to this lady's first album. This is from the first album. You get what I'm saying? Go listen to our first album. And when I look at some of these artists in Nigeria and everything, some of these guys and everything, right? Which goes back to what I always say. Some of these people are just chasing sound. Mm. Because there is no reason why some of you are not featuring this lady. You get what I'm saying? Now, yes, she has a song with Whiskey or whatever that came out last year or two years ago or whatever, right? But she's just in her corner. She has her own cult followers and everything, yeah? Bro, she's busy in Europe and everything. Like, you get me? So it's it's not like she's not doing something. Like she she has a motion going on. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But anyone that listens to music knows that she is a legend, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I've said this so many times on this. I said, bro, salute to all these other chicks out there. Yeah. No one is touching this girl. She when well, you're talking about an artist, a musician. She is. She's, she's you a, know what I'm she's saying? A, she's a fool. Yeah. So when I heard the first track, I was like, ooh. But then obviously, I should care the way he transitioned from that into his own thing. <laughs> and yes, I'm not Yoruba. I don't understand half of the things that he's saying. Oh, you don't? I, I don't understand half of the shit that he's okay. saying. You get me? Because I'm not Yoruba. Never. He speaks Yoruba. Mm -mm, you get me? Mm -mm. Which also goes to my thing. What do you think about people that say that you know he needs to he, he needs to start using English to solve which reach. what people are saying that so somebody posted this which actually went um, viral actually what did they say which is very interesting this was what the person said just gonna pull it up real quick 
So somebody tweeted this. Somebody said, Ashake needs to understand that his fans are not only Yoruba. He needs to sing in English more. That's just my opinion. Uh, that, what do you mean? Uh, that'd be bullshit. Did Ashake... Wait, first of all... <laughs> guy... We've gone past that level, though. <laughs> no, no, no. We've gone past that level where, but you pull, go and stand and listen to some house music that is full of beats. Boom, boom, check, boom, boom, check, boom, boom, check. And you'll be, and you, are, you, are you hearing anything? Like, are you, we've gone past that shit where you need to understand what the person is saying for you to actually vibe and listen to the. Did he get to where he is by singing in English? There you go. You know, be, you know, be in Lombard and you buy the thing. And yet, yet, still, you pull are listening to him and fucking with him and all of that. So why should why he does he need to change his style? Why he does he exactly? You get me. And also, nobody says that to Ozuna or some of these Latin artists. Exactly. Them people don't even speak. Them people don't even care about English, bro. You get me. Them people nah, nah, are nah. strictly on their Latin yeah, thing, when bro, people or their speak, Spanish thing. Nah, you. That's entitled. That your your what you won't make you adjust to your. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that shit. You get what I'm saying. He's a shake because of what he's doing. Because of the because of the way he sings. Because of what he's doing right now. You yeah. can't change that. That is him. That's him. If you don't want to go and find an English speaking artist and listen to this. <laughs> and go listen it to this one, is. You get me? But yeah, the That's way he transitioned, bro, the way he transitioned, right, on that first track and everything and got into his thing, that was amazing. And then, bro, I go into the second track. MMS. <laughs> MMS. Big whiz. That's one we whiz, bro. Should we check that yeah, out? Of yeah? course. Let's check it out, Let's bro. Let's do this, bro. Let's check it out. Hey. Oh yeah, hello. Mm. Mellow, Let's mellow, go. mellow. Bro. Do you know if I will do? If I will do this, I will transition to whiskey immediately. Hey. Hey. Mmm. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, listen. I apologize because the song is loud in my ears and everything. Yeah, so, so, so they shout. Yeah, so I was shouting. I realized I was shouting, bro. But yeah. Fam, listen. No, this song. Anyway, you go, you go. What do you think you about go. whiskey style, though? <sighs> whiskey, they talk. Mm. <laughs> you don't say whiskey, they talk. Mm. But I don't understand half of the things he's saying because he's speaking some understand. next language. Yeah. But I can tell, or I can, I get a feeling he's boasting a little bit. He's, okay. He's, he's giving the people a reminder. Of, of, of who he is. Of who he is. Yeah, I think part of it as well. And then I think part of it as well was where he was talking about his his mom as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, obviously he was saying, yo, there is nothing man never see before, you mm, know. You know, stuff like, like that. Yeah, I'm that dude or whatever the case yeah. is. You know, but then at, at the same time, he talked about, you know, his mom obviously passing away mm. and and how he had to go through that as well. Mm, you know mm, what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. But I feel like that, this is going to make people even check for his upcoming album more. Mm. Like, I miss, I miss that. It's just they talk, but you, you the vibe to him. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? It, but, but that's what he gave to you lot. What, that's, that's what he guy, gave to you lot on, on More Love, Less Ego. 
Okay, yeah. That's what he gave to you lot. And everyone was bashing him on that. There was too much of that on more love, less ego. Bro, Let me this just is say. the whiskey I yeah. love, bro. No, I, no. This is the whiskey that I love, bro. Just give me that nice, slow, mellow, yeah. whatever. You go. Know what I'm saying? I just want to just chill, yeah, yeah. you know, drinking my wine, smoking my cigar, have some pretty thing around me or whatever. I don't want to sweat too much, bro. <laughs> That's that's the whiskey. This nah, is the nah, whiskey fucked, that fucked, I fucked, want, bro. Fucked. I, 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 this is the whiskey that I want too. But I want a bit. I want a mixed bag. Mm. I want. A, I don't want just broccoli for my my salad. I want some. I want some carrots. <laughs> you hear me? I want some broccoli yeah, yeah. for my salad all the time. Bro. I, I want some cucumber. Oh, I want God. some tomato. I oh, want God. a mixed bag. But whiskey it just he sounded so like what's the word therapeutic. Mm. Like you get me? The so that that song is it, the song itself is mellow. It they give me that therapeutic, you know, like that. Like you said, you just they. I just want to chill. You just they chill. They hold your wine or your whatever, your whiskey. You're just you're just relaxing. Yeah, fam. I don't no. understand, bro. I don't understand half of what he's saying, but yeah. I'm acting like I do, bro. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah, I don't yeah. understand half but of what he's saying. But the thing is, a lot. I don't know. I don't. Okay, let me not say a lot of people, but this is not what I expected on an Ashake album. Okay, you were expecting. I was expecting. Boom, 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 boom. I'm not saying I didn't like it. Yeah, but I was after hearing Sench like, and then yeah, Active. I, hear that, I, hear that. I was expecting like a high tempo up, like. But then you first hear start, and then you hear this one. Um, what is it called? M M S M M S. And then I'm like, okay, okay, this is not what I expected, but it's it's nice. Oh yeah, like it's yeah, nice. Man. It's mellow, it's chill, it's, it's calm. This is not the Ashake we know, but it's still fucking vibes. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not going to lie. I was banging this. The first track, I was like, I love it. Second track, I was like, I love this. You know, let's keep on going. You know, and then my man just got me into mood, bro. Yeah, mood was the, okay, you're okay. Now, now it sounds more like Ashake. <laughs> Hey. Some days I'm feeling like I no one chill on anybody. Oh fam, who's calling me around this time of the day, bro? I'm in a podcast, bro. <laughs> Mm. Life is a race, keep it running. Face my face, keep it solid. Bro, listen. Oh, no, no. this this be where the party. This is where the party started from. Bro, listen. <laughs> oh, oh hey. you see the way they start. Dun, 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 and then oh. So like, far, so far, do you notice that the choir sound that he normally uses? Yeah? Mm -hmm. This first three tra uh, um, tracks, there were no it choir. In, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, my yeah. man was just doing his thing. Like, yeah. that story, like, he changed up the style because yeah. he's normally the whole choir thing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? If you go, go, go yeah, and listen to all his be, other that's songs. That's true. That's true. You Even in I mean? the back of there. Yeah, that'd yeah. be true. That'd be true. You know what I'm saying? But I heard the third track. I was like, you know what? Boom. This a track for me too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This guy, this guy, this a whole different shit. I'm getting into it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Just like you. Again, from the start, mellow, mellow. But this one I hear like a pick up. up tempo, it pick up. You know, hearing boom, 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 boom. But at the same time, oh, then it brings that. Like it goes up and then. Yeah. And then, yeah. Like one minute, boom, boom. The next minute, mellow meditation type vibe but the song is very groovy nah see but, it's just one of them songs where you're bumping your head and everything you're feeling it but you're not going crazy you're not going crazy you know what i mean you're not sweating facts you know what i'm saying facts. it's just one of them ones you're just vibing to it yeah. you know what i'm saying you can play this song in a bar in anywhere. a club anywhere At on home. the beach anywhere, anywhere. but i know why i enjoyed what? 
My man started speaking Espanol in the song. <laughs> <laughs> you hear him? I hear him. He started speaking Spanish. I was like, yo. <laughs> he's, he's in the world, bro. I'm shocking they learn new language. Fam, he's in I'm the like, world, bro. Nah, 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 yo, you can tell that my man's eyes are open. He's in the world. Like, in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. in the world. You know, but fam, I kept on going. My heart. I enjoyed my heart. Then Worldwide. Worldwide is a tune. No, Worldwide was a tune. Bro, that's the one with Stormzy. The one with Stormzy. Um, I enjoyed that. Suru. Suru. You know, I I enjoyed the whole topic about the song and everything. You know how obviously their mom, mm. you know, was was telling them um, Suru really sort of like I think that means sort of um, chill out, relax, or whatever the case okay. is. You know what I mean? Yeah, whatever that means and all that, but. I love the way Stormzy just kind of came to Stormzy, into the gym, one bro. one thing about Stormzy, that guy will always give you that spiritual vibe. Oh yeah, he's on it. He's yeah. on it. He'll he's, always give that praise, you know. And he made even Ashake. Ashake saved the like Olua. You get what I mean? Spiritual. Mm. Stormzy, I like that thing about him. Listen, he, let's play this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that, bro. Suru. Hmm. You ready for me? Yeah, like he, you see that he now brought back the choir thing as well. He said, "Olu, I said, sorry." He said, "Olu, I can't stand it." All right, Stormzy, let's go. Mm. So the glow on the waist, uh, hey. mm. No, now all my tone forts are tailored, <laughs> bro. Listen. Mama was speeding, bro. Mama was speeding, bro. I'm not going to lie. I love this album. I, I love it. I love it. I love, I love it. the album, bro. I, I, I love, love the album. You know, obviously, we we we, we are not going to play Active because we've heard Active long time. Um, Wave, we've heard Wave. Mm-hmm. Worldwide mm-hmm. is another one. Worldwide is a good one. And it's, even the one with flipping the Caribbean vibe one. The dance hall vibe one. Um, are you talking about the one the with one Lord, Lord, Lord Miller? Lord, uh, yeah, Lord That's Miller. another good one. But worldwide, is a guy. Guy, this, I think it's a slow burner for me. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I yeah, think it it's a slow burner for me because I, I I feel like maybe I judged it a bit too quickly. But I think this is what maybe this is what Shaka needed. Mm. This is what Shaka needed. Like like you said, Riv. Guy, he, he's breaking into the global scene right now. Do you do you think he's there right now? Do you think because a lot of people are talking about a whole big three that he should be mentioned with it? You know, do you think he's there right now, or he still has some more I think work he's, to do? I think he still have a bit more Same work as to well. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah Same yeah. as well. I think he still has it. I get it. He's been very consistent with dropping albums, bro. Twenty twenty two, to me, the best album so far from Ashake. Mr. Money with the vibes that just catapulted him up there. Mm. And then he put his signature on it, <laughs> flipping. Um, what's the second album called again? The second work album, of Art. Work of Art. The Work of Art, yeah. That was a signature. Like, okay. Oh, yeah, guy with. Guy. Mr. Money with Mr. the vibes. Mr. Money with the vibes. Guy. The starting of that one alone. I don't know if you remember. What was that song? The um, Money with the Vibe is crazy. The first song. Doll. Doll. Waiting, mama, go to eh, I know good, bro. As soon as you hear that, like, yo, like, you, you guy, and he didn't disappoint the arrangement of that album alone. Like, he didn't then Terminator go come then, yo, bro, till tomorrow, yeah, <laughs> till tomorrow. Whenever I want to listen to Ototo, 
I first listened to Nzaza mm. because the transition from Nzaza to, to Ototo. Ototo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. We spoke about that. I remember we killer. spoke about that. It's a killer. You are not going to get the full dose. You need to yeah. listen to Nzaza. Yeah. Then Before, go into the... Yeah, oh, yeah. You yeah. know if you just... Nah, 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 nah. The nah. transition is crazy on that. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, fam, I'm, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. My, my favorite album of his is Mr. Money with the Vibes, then Work of Art... You go, know I'm saying, and then and then obviously this one so, this far, one so far, you know, yeah. obviously we're gonna see how this one goes. I, I think, way. yeah, I think we need to hear it more to actually get a vibe of it to feel it. Yeah, um, I didn't get that with Mr. Money with the vibe. As soon as I heard that, I was you just got into it. Yeah, just yeah, got into it. I was how I was hooked with work of art. I think it, I grew on it. It grew on me, but mm. it was quick. It was a quick. It was a quick growth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You get me? This one, make a listen to more. I've, I've listened to it about 10 times already. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I love this album. I've been banging it, banging it. You get what I'm saying? Just listening to it. And just like you said, it's growing on me. You know, obviously, I wish I could understand half of what he's saying. But then at the same time, the vibe of the song, I'm still going with the vibe of the song. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I am yeah, loving yeah. it. You get me? So I, I absolutely enjoy it. I see a lot of conversation in terms of, you know, he does this whole mystique thing. Mm. You go, I mean, where he doesn't post a lot on social media. He doesn't do a lot of interviews and all this mm, kind of stuff, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, seeing people say that, um, you know, that he needs to start doing a lot more interviews and be out there so, so that his fans can get to know him mm. and everything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he should. I think he should keep it the way it is. Or, the, or rather the way he is, when you see me, is when you see me. Because when you start playing the whole social media game, interviews here and there or wherever, right? You start getting into, if you're not careful, you start getting a lot, into a lot of scandal. Yep, yep. You get what I'm saying? Because you cannot always be careful of what you say. Yeah, you know, you start getting into a lot of scandal. And the thing is, there are artists, I always say this, right? There are artists that need social media to keep their name yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While, while there are other artists that they stay away from me, but once they drop, everybody knows yeah, 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 yeah. they dropped. And he, does, he doesn't need that. To, That's to, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Facts. started his career. It depends on how you start your career, right? Are you a Kendrick or are you a Drake? You know, what do I mean by Drake? Drake has to be, you know, his name have to be there in the blur. You know what I'm saying? It has helped his career and everything. But if you look at Kendrick, Kendrick might disappear for a year or two, three years. And then, boom, he comes out, he drops, the, everybody just shut down. Everybody like, oh, shit, he's here. You get what I'm saying? And when I look at someone like Asha K, that's how he started his career mm. on the main stage. Mm. I think he he should keep it that way. When you look at someone like Davido, he needs the social media. He needs it, yeah, 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 To keep, yeah, yeah, You yeah, get yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? So it depends on the type of artist you are. Me, personally, I don't think he should change his style, in my opinion. You get what I'm saying? But then also... It's very funny to see my man. My man is into the whole skating thing, fam. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm thinking, Even bro. Even with, with no skating. No, yeah. Was, no, no. You get me? He's into the skating thing. I'm not thinking, bro. I'm sure when you were growing up, you were yeah, not skating yeah. in Nigeria, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about Nigeria. It's not that big in Nigeria, is it? Oh, um, It's probably starting to. No, actually, you know, <laughs> it was a sort of activity for the Ajabotas. Okay. For the rich kids. Really? Yes. When I was growing up, you know, skating roller skating all the sort of shit it was more of the you know the the middle earning family or the rich families that were really into okay. those sort of activities you okay. get what i'm saying it, it wasn't something that was really done in i the thought hood. it was the other way okay no it okay. wasn't something that was done okay. in the hood you get what i'm saying now it's probably has changed now yeah, you sure know but i know that growing up most of the kids that were roller skating it wasn't a lot of skateboarding Mm, right it, it was, was more, more of roller, roller skating yeah you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. yeah it was done by the rich kids and and all that kind of shit yeah, yeah. and i think after because this guy's a big skater now too little wayne little wayne as well he's doing an and even chris yeah. brown i feel like that too has brought eyes onto it like people want to yeah of course you, you feel know? me but then that kind of started with pharrell as well pharrell pharrell that's was true, doing that's that as well true, skate, that's skate, true, that's um, skateboard p you know but then when i look at um him Obviously, he came to London. He started hanging out with. Um, do you know this Nigerian artist? You know he draws um called um Oluwa Sh um, Sloan. I've heard of that dude. Yeah, Oluwa Sloan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, you know, it was. I might be getting it wrong, but I can say the first time I ever saw him was with Central C. 
Okay. Apparently, Central C is the godfather to his son. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he's a very cool dude and everything. He's on social media and everything. You get what I'm saying? So when all these artists come to London, they always go to his and everything. You get what I'm saying? So he's big into this whole skateboarding thing as mm. well. You know? I saw Ashake hanging out with him, man. The next thing I saw, my man was skateboarding and shit. You get what I'm saying? Doing a trying it out and all that. And I'm surprised that he's doing it now. So I'm thinking, okay, Ashake is into skateboarding. Fucking Rema is into cigarettes right now. You gotta say it's probably their style and shit. You yeah, know, they are all picking up hobbies. And they are all picking up you hobbies, bro. Rich, rich people problem. You know what I'm saying? They all picking up hobbies and that. You know, but um, in general, I do, I do like the album, man. No, no, guy, no one can fault it. You know I, mean, I mean, I do like the album. It, it might not be his best album, but it doesn't take anything away from it. It doesn't take. The fact that it's a great album. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You, but you but can't. to me, but to me, he has not missed. You know? He he has not missed at all. You know, from the first album to this one, I don't think he has missed. Mm. This is different. This is definitely different. So what do you think about the people online here yeah, that are saying, because obviously before this album, you had a lot of people talking about that they are tired of the Ama Piano sound and everything, right? Because his last two albums. Full of my piano sound. Now, with this album, he changed up the style. And now the same people online are coming out to say, oh, that they don't like this this sound and that he should go back to my piano. What do you think about that? They are confused, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or is it not confusion though? Like, And to me, that's part of the reason why, you know, I've always said this. I think, I don't know what I was having that conversation with again, right? Artists should never listen to fans. Yeah. Don't listen to fans. Nah, Create yeah. your own shit. Create your own art. Yeah. The people will eventually buy into it. The people that will buy into it will buy into it. You get what I'm saying? Bro, when you listen to fans in everything that you do, you go miss road. You go miss road. You go mess your music up. You will mess your art Easy, up. Easy, because then that's when you open that whole box of trying different mixes, trying different sounds, yeah. all of that. And then you're not going to stick to your core... Yeah. You know, strength. And yeah. Then, yeah. And nah. the thing is, you realize, you, you realize very quickly, yeah, which is the reason why you hear artists, you know, they start saying that, you know, that they are not fulfilled in what they're doing because mm. they feel like they are not being themselves and mm. everything. The label is telling you what to do. You know, the, the, the comments online, obviously you're reading it and everything. Everyone is telling you, oh, this, this, this. And you just find yourself, you're lost and everything, you know, and you see them, they crack. They crack because now you're out here chasing different sounds. Mm. You know, you're not being true to your art or whatever the case is, you know. And you hear a lot of artists say that. And that's the reason why I always say this. No, forget about to, yeah. for, forget about the numbers that you're seeing on Instagram. You see that whatever followers or whatever the case is or the number of your comments or whatever. Just forget about so, that. So do you think he may have stepped out a little bit to do mm. this album the way he did it, because people they talk, or you do you think he's just experimenting on his own? I think he's, uh, yeah, I think he's experimenting on his own, right? Because mm. because I've forgotten the track where he was saying that he was doing something. He he was doing different sounds until he discovered his sound. Let me find that track real quick. Was it not? I, th I think it was worldwide. Worldwide, yeah. I think it was worldwide. You're funded, yeah, you're funded. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it was worldwide mm. where where he said that he was trying out different sound until he until he now found his own sound. His own sound. Which is so true because um I believe it was worldwide. Let's check it out. Let's go. Mm. Thank you. 
No, I don't. I, no, I don't think it's it wasn't worldwide. No, 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 it wasn't worldwide. Um, okay, well, worldwide bad dude. Um, <laughs> what, what the hell? Yeah, I should kill you, bad guy. Bro, what the hell is crazy? Yeah, bro. Worldwide is crazy. I think, hear the hip hop interludes and then. Yeah, I, th- I think it's probably mood. Is it mood? I think it's probably mood. But I was listening <clears> to it and I heard it on one of the tracks. You know, because what I did was I kind of just played the album. And just left it to play. Mm, you know what I mean? So mm, I wasn't mm. checking out the the um tracks and that. You know what I mean? Just listening, just making yeah, just the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah make yeah, just yeah. the play. I would just listen. Because that's to when it you pick up certain things that I heard what he was yeah. saying on that, bro. I heard what he was saying because he was saying, yo, that he was doing different sounds until he discovered his own mm, sound. Mm, yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I can't find it, but listen, if you're watching this and, and if you're listening to it. You go, know I mean, if you can just tell me the comments that um, which song it was, yeah, the, the track or whatever. So he's not, he's not really been influenced by no, by I, all this talk, talk, yeah. Talk. I just think, I think he's just been true to himself, if you ask me. Mm, yeah, mm, I think mm. he's been true to himself and everything. But in general, I like the album. Like, I bro, rate same, it, man. I rate it heavy. I rate it heavy. I think it's a strong at this very moment. At this very moment, obviously, eventually, it is gonna grow. But I think I rated a very a strong seven over eight. So, so uh, um seven over ten. So we did rate them. Cause I see I see I see what someone someone rated it. Mr. Mishgaga. I see what Kelly. I see what Kelly rated. No, no, my Kelly. Kelly already thought that uh what did Kelly thought he gave? Strong nine point six. Strong <laughs> nine point six. <laughs> No, 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 no. I mean, I, 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 I go rate them um, between a six point five to a seven. Yeah, yeah six point five seven. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For this very moment, you got know I me. Mean? I think I've listened to the album like about five times already. Mm. You get know I me? Mean? Now, obviously, after this this episode you're tonight, gonna, again, you're gonna yeah, listen I'm just to gonna it play again. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and the way I enjoy my album is. I just play it. I just leave it to play. Leave it to play. Yeah. I I don't check tracks. You know what I'm saying. I just wanna just hear it and just hear the sequence in there. Mm. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But but what what do you think about? Cause he had um he had a couple producers on the song. Mm. He didn't stick to one producer. No, he had a, no no. He had no, multiple no. producers on there. No, he did not. And the thing is, bro, them producers, they need a shout out, bro. They need a flipping because, shout because, out, bro. Because people like P Prime and everything. Guy. That guy, where did he even come from? Fam, he's been around, though. Because he's, 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 he's a young boy, you know? He's been around. He's been around. No, he's no, no. Not P, not P Prime. Yeah, P Prime. Yeah, he's a, he's a young dude. Fam, he, he's been around, bro. Fam, ev- everyone is going to him now. Everybody and their mother is going to him. Mm. He is. Because he done, he done some work on the... The Rimmers one, innit? Yeah. And also, he did some work on flipping... On Whiskey's album before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, see, that guy, he's, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. He's yeah, everywhere. That's bro. mad. That's mad. That's he's mad. everywhere. I'm trying to pull up their names and that. I'm trying to pull up their names and everything, bro. Because they deserve... I know we've got P-Prime. They and deserve a shout got, out of this one still. We've got um, Saz. Mm-hmm. Saz we've is on there Saz as well. Saz on there, yeah. Saz is on there as well. And then we've got um, Magic Sticks. Magic so this Sticks Magic well, yeah. Sticks guy, so he produced all of the songs on, on Mr. Money with the Vibes, you know? Is it? Everything, yeah, that's apparently mad. all the 12 songs on Mr. Money with the Vibes. He produced that's mad. all of them songs. That's mad, bro. P Prime, I just put it up right now. P Prime, these are the songs that he produced and co produced. Mm. Start, yeah. MMS, Mood, My Heart, Suru, Skating, and I Swear. Oh, Suru as well. Okay, crazy. Okay. SARS, he produced um, Worldwide, Active. Mentally, oh yeah, and legally, legally, yeah, yeah. Majestics produced um wave and Fuji vibe. Okay, okay, S- yeah. Sakpase 
um, produced wine. Wine. And then Mike Dean. I am not surprised. You know who Mike Dean is? Yeah, yeah. We don't know Mike Dean. Kanye. <laughs> Kanye, Travis, all them boys and everything. And obviously, guess the song that he produced? Active. Active. <laughs> Active. I'm not surprised. And then... Of course, there had to be someone like that. Listen, that shit was crazy. And then shout out to the composers, bruv. Yeah, they co-produced what? Fuji vibes. Yeah. Fuji vibe, yeah. Fuji you, vibe. You, that's, that's the attin. Fuji vibe. That's the attin. The nah, nah. Name. Big shout out to all these producers, man. man he, but this... This P Prime guy, 22 year old guy. Bro, listen. 22 year old guy, bro. Guy, that's all life be, man. All you just need to do is to catch one. Yeah. Once you catch one, everybody will start calling your phone. Your phone will start buzzing. That's just what it is. Fuck. That's just what it is. You just, you just need to catch one. You know, if you catch one with one of these big dogs and everything, and your name is Devo, it's a guy who produced that. Who produced, yeah, this. that yeah. guy. That guy. Word of mouth, word of mouth. That's, it, you're gone. that's, that's, that's how the music industry you're works, gone. isn't it? You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Nah, you're bro, gone this, this album, make, 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 a, make a listen to one for the next few days and then my rating might be higher. Of course. Of you course, feel me? But course. it's refreshing, isn't it, to hear that Shake. The new sound and everything. The new sound and everything. Yeah, and yeah. this catalog go help in next in next shows in next in tour whatever like yes. this is an addition man yeah of course of this course he's a super addition his store is coming up and everything you going or oh, oh, 2 is it's soon isn't it it's next month yeah the i believe the 22nd of october of i mean of september september i believe so i go i go i go but i, I don't go. know i don't I won't know go. i won't go i don't know just like you said i don't know but i won't go <laughs> Uh, of course, it's not going to match up to the Don Dada himself. But <laughs> <laughs> he has said that for you. Yeah, the he guy has said that. He said that. He said that. You get me? Do people Yo, know who you're chatting about? Do people know who you're chatting do about? Do we need to mention his name? You get like, me? Come on. Who's the who's who's greatest performer? Who's the greatest African performer right now? Come but, on. Like, say less. But, but listen. But listen, I should get my change your mind though. I mean, I've I sold videos from from the his, last one. Yeah. yeah, the last one. The last one was cool. It was cool. Last it one was, was cool. cool. I don't think it's gonna be so much different. Or maybe he has. He will look back that one. You know, switch up some things. Switch up some uh, things. If, or you, if you ain't got it, you ain't got it. So are you saying? <laughs> that I'm he not ain't, saying. He has okay, it. Okay. I'm comparing now. At this point, I'm comparing. Ben has got it. Yeah, but it took some time for him to get to where he is. Uh, yeah, fuck. You get what I'm saying? I just don't get that. He's because, no, this, this is what I'm saying, right? Because when you see, if you're paying attention to his progression, right? When he did the place at Brixton, mm -mm 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 -mm. remember he did that. You get me? When you see that and then you see the old two one, you, you can you can see the growth. It'll be that one where... Where, yeah, the yeah, thing happened. Yeah, yeah, all of you that. Me? Yeah, you can see the growth and everything. You get what I'm saying? Now, obviously, I saw the old two one and all that. I was like... You know, that's cool. Yeah. You know, mind you, just like yourself, I'm just coming out from watching Burner fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, listen, you get me? So I was like, that's cool. But then um, I think you can see his growth. You can see in, in terms of his artistry, you know, hopefully it translates to um, stage performance. You know what I'm saying? But it's yet so to is be it, seen. Okay. It's yet Are to you be going seen. though or you're not sure? I'm not sure yet. Mm. I'm not sure. I would like to go, but you know, I'm not sure yet because mm. you because you know me. It it has to take yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. It has to take something for me to yeah, pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To go watch to pay, go watch someone to yeah, put yeah. money in someone's pocket to go watch yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. It, like 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 the person has to have have done I'm some done. crazy shit. You see that woman way pay Chris Brown a thousand and something dollars. Just to do a meet and greet for thirty minutes, mm. and he said that was the best time of her life, and that they dated for thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her, fam. It's mad, man. I don't it's blame mad her. What people listen, do. Listen, that is the reason I was yeah. telling you, Lord, fam. I believe we're having that conversation here. Yeah. You know, I was telling you that's probably the reason why some of these guys are mad, bro, fam. Me, sir, I go vex. My girl carry one thousand pounds. Go, go, give out. Just for 30 Just minutes. Just for 30 minutes. Are you crazy? <laughs> do you know what 1,000 pounds can do for us? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's some nasty work right there, bro. But at the but end of the day, by the end of the day, I get it. If I'm the artist, hey, 
You know, so it depends on what side of the fence you're on. The fence you're on, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? It depends on what side of the fence you're on, bro. You know, but listen, salute to Asha K, man. No, big, big, big salute. There you go, I mean, salute to him and everything. Big salute. Man. Let's see, let's see if if we turn up, if we turn up to the O2. Make we see, I go like go. I go like go, just to, I mean. Just of witnesses. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, after, after, let's see. Yeah, I might just, I might just turn up still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All right, cool, cool, cool. If you're going to go, just let me know. Anyway. I'll go let you know. Mr. Yeah. Money of the vibes. If you're going to go, just let me know and everything. The, the both of us might probably turn up. You might there, turn yeah. up and then see what, see yeah, what yeah. Shaka is saying. Oh, God. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Fam, should we call you a day, yeah? I guess so, man. Yeah. I guess so. It's been, it's been a good one. It's yeah, been a yeah. great one. It's been good to be back. Absolutely, bro. It's I've enjoyed good to have it. You though. Yeah, it's good to have you back. It's bro. been a great time to be back as well. I mean, reviewing this whole album and that. Nah, Absolutely, bro. It's been, Absolutely. It's been sick. Absolutely. And also, we thank you guys, all the freshest. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you're right here with us. We salute you a lot. You already know it's Toby, it's Cole. Salute to Kelly, wherever he is, Yep, man. yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? If you're watching this on YouTube, which I know you are, subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, leave a like, leave a comment, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend. Because they got friends, too. Yes. And yes. also support the channel as well. Support the machine, you know what I'm saying? You know, tap the super chat and everything, you know what I'm saying? Also, the, the PayPal link and everything. Dinero, you know, Dinero. You know, just just support the machine, man. You get what I'm saying? With all this beautiful content that we're giving you, Lord, man. Do that, man. You get what I'm saying? Listen. Until next time. Love. Salute. 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 Salute.